Start All right. Podcast. That's what. Uh, that's just what we do. He know where my mama stay. He know where your mama stay. Oh, Said we started. He had a gun. We started. You see him. See, you don't never How say nothing. How many people in the hood play like that? I told you, I never say action. Oh my God. You already know what it is. This is sophisticated ignorance, educated ratchetness, Henny and Fry Crafts podcast. We are back at it. Listen, I ain't even going to fake. This is the second time. The first time, I'm going to tell you all about what, what happened, but this is the second time. You don't know what he doing. <laughs> yeah, that too. I <laughs> fucked up. Y'all already know what I got on the camera. The uh, most hated. I'm, I'm not the most hated anymore. People love me now. She keeps some shit going. You already know cakes and cakes. I no, said, I don't. I, she got cakes. Oh, this Simply Lemonade. Yeah. Oh. And she got okay. cake. So Girl, cakes and cakes. You already know. We got Susie Lou in the building. Give her some dap. Give her some dap. Give her some dap. She, it's me. <laughs> she is the number one cake lady in the area. So y'all should already know that. Everybody um, don't think that. Everybody don't think that. Who bigger? Mm-hmm. No, I don't say nothing. Cause you, I'm not, you say, I'm not saying it. no names. Listen, you already got tear some me shit. Apart. You yeah. hear me? The last time you got down looking don't funny off that. people. Don't do off, that. Off people joint. But we start with a shot. Why would you do this to me? Oh, and man. the last time she ain't even want to drink, so I got a drink in this time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh wee! Hey, come on, Susie. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. It's just a little. I ain't even fill a shot glass up. It's just a little bit. That's a lot. Oh my god, I'm not dead. I do not take shots. Like I'm just about to kill me. Do you hear me? It's one shot. Hey, Amen. You want the crowd to get hyped? Go, go, no. go, 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 go. <laughs> like work. That's easy work. And you don't drink Hennessy. What the fuck you drink? Nothing. Dog, I seen you drink in the club. What are you talking about? No, I don't. I sip in the club. It's about the time when they just sat for a long time, the water and the metal down, so it's just water down juice. Well, we're going to get you drinking on Henny Mm -mm. and Fried Crab. How the week week been going? What, you home? Why you ain't getting no crabs? I know. Dog, literally, I drove straight from D.C. right not down Not even here. trying to hear. I was late I and everything. You could have went and got some corrals. I'm not even trying to hear. You're right. I could have. How the week been going? Boy, busy. What that mean? Like, I just been working every day. since I got Since I got back from D.C., I've been working every day. Every day since you've been every back from day. something in the water? Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to tell y'all, we did, a, we did an interview something in the water, uh, Somehow I fucked the audio up. We still had the video, but we That's did it. That's because we were outside, and we, it was yeah, really, we did it was outside. really windy that day. But too. see, the audio wouldn't have been bad if I wouldn't have lost it. But I lost it, and then the wind picked up on the camera. So if I would have still had the audio, I'd have been all right. But yeah, that shit was windy as fuck. That shit was sounding crazy. What you mean you lost the audio? Like it was gone? I thought I saved it, and I didn't. And when I went inside, I ain't even had that shit no more. So we was just looking there, like. No, I had I had it while we was recording, but you know when I started packing everything up, uh-huh. I didn't fucking save it. That's yeah. because you was trying to hurry up and get everything packed up. Your girlfriend was out there stressing you out when we was out there talking. <laughs> we packed up before she even came out there. What's funny though, she did kind of just come out there and sit though. Like yeah, I was like, she uh, came out there. She wanted to see what was going on. But this the thing. I don't even know how she even knew we was out there, but you know, our, oh, for our, real? yeah, but our parking deck was right there. So she probably seen me just sitting there with yeah. you and seeing Sean was like, what the fuck going on? But she knew I was fucking shooting a podcast, but neither. Oh, here, no, she's there. pretty cool. Though. I like her. She's nice. She is. She a little bullheaded though. Sometimes don't do that. But no, even that, she, she was get being you straight. That's but no, why that's you what I'm saying. Like even that. that was kind of weird. Why you just be like, yo, what's up? Hey, what's going on? She didn't say nothing. She that's just sat down. That's because we were talking. She didn't want to interrupt us. Excuse me. What's going? On? Hey, what's going on? No, I'm just... she just sat there. Then when it was the conversation opened up, she chimed her way in. It was cool what she did. She you didn't come down You think I should have introduced nothing. her? But you already knew who she was. I knew who she was. I knew who she was. But I mean, yeah, you. I think did you end? Did no, you I don't end? think I did. I think you I might have did. I might have did. I can't remember. I don't know. We was outside talking for so long. You been on any dates this week? <laughs> did anybody offer to take you on a date this week? Yeah, I ain't going on no dates right now. Why? Cause I can't make no money on no dates. So I ain't going on no date. I'm in grind mode right now. Okay. I mean, you can make some money on a date if you charge, but yeah, but I ain't with all that. 
So when when because then you, I'm gonna go, feel like I'm not there for fun. You get what I'm saying? I yeah, feel like yeah, I'm no, getting I paid. So most of your dates be about fun. Yeah, I'm going out to have fun. I even can't have even fun. if you don't notice, I can't have nigga, fun right now. Why? Because I'm in grind mode. So how long grind mode? It's summertime, man. You right, but I don't care about the set. I don't be outside. For real. Yeah. How many how many niggas offered to take you on a date this week? Dang, why I gotta be so many? Why <laughs> how many? What? You still single though, One. ain't you? Because last time yes. we talked, you were single. So I'm still single. I mean, I don't know. You might have found. You might. I mean, you, you might have spent the block. No, I'm not. Because we talked about that. No. Single I mean, and ready to mingle. He's still around too. His birthday was just the other day. I took him out for his birthday. And stuff. Oh, for real? Yeah. I'm a nice ex girlfriend. So how that's gonna work though when you get somebody new though? Cause he's not my boyfriend. It's my ex boyfriend. So you gonna tell the new nigga I'm still fucking no, with my ex? No, I'm not nigga? telling him that because if I get a new nigga, then my ex boyfriend is really, really my ex boyfriend. Are you gonna cut him off? Yeah. Oh, all right. Did y'all fuck? <laughs> Boy, I'm just, asking you. you just That's a yes or no question. In it. Cause you say you in grind mode, so that means you ain't going on dates. So no, I'm not going on dates. I ain't even thinking about sex neither. You can't think about stuff like that when you're not where you want to be in life. You're gonna lose focus. Nah, hell yes, no. Yes, you will. Listen, I'm telling you, if I don't bust no nut, my head be See, men and women I'd are different. Angry. Men and women are different. No, I don't think so. Yes, huh? Because we really put our feelings into. When my girl backed up, she turned into a fucking. For real. Man. It's, she better it's get a, a toy or something. I got a toy. She, I name. know. I bought her the rose. <gasps> did I call Moochie? Yeah, him to yeah you told him to take the pineapples out. outside. Yeah. I did. Yeah, you told him to take See, the See, that's why I don't drink. Right there. I lo- You sure did I call him? I promise her? you, you called him and told him to take the pineapples outside. No, hold on. Let me make sure she got her stuff. I'm telling you, you did. If she didn't, she would have called you. You nice. Like, did he come outside yet? She didn't answer the phone. I'm telling you, you called him. You sure? Did I? I'm telling you, you called him. See, that's why I don't drink. Man, that was one like fucking that. shot. And I'm already drunk. Hell no. <laughs> Champ in the house. Oh my God, he outside on the patio. Bring him in the house. Champ probably did. Oh my God, my dog did. Please check on him. It's hot outside. Is he okay? Touch him and make sure he not hot. This some hood ass podcast shit, man. He hot for real. Just give him some water. You know they temperature is good. No, like for real. Okay, is he like panting or anything, or he just chilling? Okay, yeah, give him some water. Okay, okay, don't let him go back outside. I forgot he was out there, and I was rushing, and I left. Look, don't. Don't fuss at me. Bye. Dang, I left my dog outside. He could have died. He ain't going to die. Yes, huh? You know nah. they can't get real hot. Only thing, though, bigger bigger dogs are more susceptible being outside because they carry so much. Bo- their body weight get hotter than small dogs because they small. Yeah, he's he's small. So he good. He, he could last probably two days. And probably no, he cannot. Days. I'm telling you. No, not Frenchies. I'm telling you. No, I'm not I know dogs. I'm a dog person. Mm-mm, I just think. I thought, people, I I thought your ex people. took the dog, though. You told me I you got him the back. Dog. Don't ask me how I got him back, but I got my dog back. You told me he took him. He did. When I was in D.C., I didn't have my dog. I got my dog back after that. So how that happen? I got my dog back. Oh, you had to fuck him to get it back? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you had to go give him some, some, no. some shit, and then while no, he was knocked out, no. you just slid the dog in the, in the bag. Him, like, I did not have to get him, get him none. Mm-hmm. We had a grown-up conversation, and I was like, so you really going to keep my son from me? And what did he say? No, I'm not going to keep your son from you. Well, I wouldn't do nothing like that. Yes, you did. So did you ask him why he took it initially? Yeah, he took him because he was mad. He was upset. That's why he took him. He reacted off emotions. Are That's you are you a vindictive person? Like, do you no, do shit like that? No, I don't do you... stuff like that. Because it's like once we're done, we're done. It is what it is. I don't care anything that I bought you or did for you. So situation, you find out your your boyfriend cheating on you. You just like, ah, oh, fuck this shit. We done. Or are you gonna do something to try to make him? Cause, listen, no, because yeah, you listen, really cause... went and did what you did. In risk of losing me. Well, what if you did some shit to make him go do that? Did what? 
I if mean, you felt like you weren't happy or you didn't like what I was doing or I wasn't doing enough, that's a conversation that me and you should have had. Do you have that conversation with them? Yes. When I'm not happy in something or I feel like I feel some type of way about anything, yes, that's a conversation we're going to have right in the day. I'm not waiting or nothing. So how do you, that st- how do you right start that there. conversation? You'd be like, yo, we got to talk. If what there's you something saying? going on, like, what are you doing? Hmm. So give me an example of one of those conversations you had. Because you was married, weren't you? Yeah. Not married no more. So I'm at, not married anymore. At some point, it must God, have been. you make me feel like I'm the problem. Now hold on Before you start that How many relationships You been in And I ain't I ain't talking No high school shit Let's say After 18 I haven't 18, been in Many relationships You been married once I was married once How many boyfriends before Have you had Before I got married I was in one relationship Okay So well, two, two Two Yeah Marriage three How many after marriage After marriage It was another one Which Four And then My ex Five Five Okay. And I took a break, like a long break. What's a long break? Like four years break after my last situation before I got into another to this one right relationship. Here. God yeah. damn, why the fuck you take four years? Because I just didn't want to. You was hurt that bad? No, it wasn't like I was hurt. It was like I really had to sit down because since I was in high school, I jumped from relationship to relationship mm. to relationship. So it was like I really had to sit down and see what exactly I wanted. And did you find that out? Yeah, and what was you looking for? Peace. So you won't have in peace what at home or in your family? Cause I'm. Go ahead, peace and what else? Like peace, like it wasn't like, and I felt like you know at the same time, I needed to get myself together. I felt mm. like I was jumping in relationships, you know, based off the wrong reasons, just based off of what somebody could do for me okay so it was more so on i'm going to build myself up to this certain person so then now only certain people will approach me Mm. okay so that's what i did and do them saying do them saying niggas approach you or the different niggas approach you yes those no yes and no Mm. yes and no I ain't gonna speak badly on my ex because we're friends now. So I'm not yeah, saying I mean, ain't no, bad, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no. But, you know but now, but now, listen now. You know, I, you, people got to be held accountable for their yeah, bullshit, they do. though. They so do. I ain't they saying really I'm do. talking bad about nobody. But if some shit happened that you did to me that hurt me and was some fuck shit, I'm gonna speak on and, it. And, yeah. and if you hear it, then hopefully you be like, yo, that's some shit I did. Yeah. But I mean, do you got a good relationship with your dad? Mm-hmm. Your mom? Mm-mm. I'm gonna tell you, I. At some point, I oh my God, I be telling people all the time: you, when you meet people, you gotta really dig Ask deep them, in their relationship yeah, about, their about, relationship their about their parents. Yeah, I'd rather take a girl with mommy issues than daddy issues. Yeah, yeah. Women with daddy issues be a whole nother fucking level. Yeah, it's different with yeah, cause yeah, it is. It's but the only thing with girls with mommy issues be just real nasty and catty. And, like, literally one time I met a girl bad. And I was fucking her before I really kind of <laughs> met her people. So she had good sex, all of that. I met her, and she was around her family. And she literally, like, was cussing her mom out. And I said, oh, my Lord. I mean, it, it, when I tell you the biggest red flag came out, and I was sitting there. And, first of all, I was feeling uncomfortable. So I'm like, yo, just relax. Like, yo, right. chill. She kept getting more. No. Nah. I'm like, yo, we are, you're around your family. You're around me. I'm not your family. Like, first of all, you're not supposed to be doing that around outsiders. I'm like, yo, calm the fuck down. Like, no, she went in on her mom. I stopped calling the bitch that day. See, If no. she talked to her mama like, like that, what even, you think she going to do to me? Yeah, she going to talk to you like that too. But see, as far as me, like, you know, my mom was never really around growing up. Mm-hmm. But... You know, if I could call her now, like I'm older, I've built my own relationship with her. Okay. So even though it's still like, okay, I tried to build one with you, but then you do crazy stuff. And it's just like, all right, I need to distance myself from you for a little bit because mm. you doing stuff that, you know, I not okay with. So she won't around because your mom and dad won't together. No, my mom was in and out of jail. Okay. So it was like, you know, that type of relationship okay. with her. So, you know, my dad raised me. 
Yeah. So, but I also had my grandmother too. So I had my dad and my grandmother. Is the, is your grandmother your mom's mom or my your dad's, dad's mom? mom? Okay. So yeah. do you, I mean, are you cool with your mom family on their side too? Yeah, I mean, I'm cool with them too in this extent. Is your mom Chinese? No, my mom black. Oh, so black. your dad is the mixed one. My dad one. is Chinese and white. Oh, for real. So yeah. She black like me black or light yeah, skin? Yeah, she black and ghetto. For real? Yeah. Ghetto. Yeah. That's where you get it from then. Yeah. That's I ain't saying you ghetto, but so you good with her now though? Yeah, like we cool. Did you ever disrespect her or anything? No, even when she did crazy stuff, I never really disrespected yeah. her. It was because at the end of the day, like you're still my mother, so Thanks. I never crossed the line, or I may have cussed her out a few times, but I felt like it was never God like. Damn, on you that just level. said you never disrespected. No, her. it wasn't like a cuss out, cuss out. It was more of a chastise. You chastising your mama? Yes, because I felt like at the end of the day, I felt like you was the you were the child and I was the mother, so. You know, I had to let her know, like, this is how you're making me feel. And mm. I don't like that, you know. And no, it's, it's crazy because we literally had a conversation yesterday, and she was just on the phone because she's incarcerated now. So we were on the phone. Free, what's her name? I ain't telling y'all my mama name. Missy. Look, Free I, Missy, <laughs> god damn it. Free <laughs> Missy to his backwards, god damn it. Free Missy, she ain't Missy. do it. But. Fuck, man. Oh, no, she did it. No, nah, come on, stop. man. <laughs> Come on, man. Let me stop. But no, Your like mom probably running you know, the yard she told too. Me, no, she's in the city. She ain't just be For ain't real. no yard. Mm. But yeah, you know, she told me she was just proud of me. You know that I was a better mother than she was. So it's, you know, she kind of touched me yesterday. Was that your motivation, though, as being a mom? Like, yes. yo, what I got to do. But now the only thing I tell people sometimes, y'all don't realize y'all spoiling. And fucking making y'all kids brats when y'all when people say, Oh, well, my mom or my dad want that, so I gotta give my kid more than I had and be that sometimes it's good in moderation though. No, it is. Cause y'all can overdo it and then your kid get fourteen and you like, damn, what type of fucking monster? See, did and I, I feel raise? like with my kids, my oldest son, Moochie, mm. he was like, you know, my first. So he kinda like was the kid they kinda like saw everything like the goods and bads so it's like with my youngest son with rocket mm -hmm. he came in the picture when everything was already established okay. so he doesn't know about the bad side he only knows about the good side like what five-year-old is like mommy for my birthday i want to go to the bahamas <laughs> won't be my motherfucking kid like, mommy, i want to go on the cruise we're going to great food like, great what? fucking lies little nigga for his fifth birthday we went to miami you was telling me about that when you was flying Spirit. Yeah, we flew Spirit. She looked like this and fly Spirit. Got no, all that ass don't and all do that. that and don't do that. Don't try to get up here and be funny. Like, I had to pay for seven flights. Where was his daddy at? Why his dad couldn't his pay dad for the no motherfucking go. flights? Because his dad did his own thing. Like, with me and Rocket's dad, we do one week on, one week off. So when Rocky is with me, he's fully with me. When he's with his dad, he's fully with his okay, dad. Okay, that's dope. Though. I mean, listen, if y'all can work it out, work it out. I love so, to hear yeah. it like that. I mean, so. he ended up sending money, you know, for us to spend down there and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, that trip was funded by me. Have you, uh, I'm going somewhere else because I'm ADHD and shit. You looked at that uh, Kevin Gates, Carisha shit. I, I like Kevin Gates. Let, let, me, like let, me, let me start off he's by that. He's kind of... I'm not gonna that say that nigga he's be not full weird. of shit. He, yeah, come on. I man. mean, he was saying some really truthful stuff at the same time, and you know, he's very wise. But at the same time, I can tell like he's really toxic too, because he know he knows what to say. And, and this my whole thing. Like I said, I but I, what I he was saying was nothing. Was no, hold on, hold on. What he was no, saying, she ain't got damn line. About what to get he, into okay, the. Hold on, I'm about to, to get it. into the. I want to hear but it. But like I said, I got to start in case he see it. I don't want to have to, you know. He say he get to it, I get to it too, my guy. But I fuck Kevin with Gates Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates probably beat you up. <laughs> a lot of people be saying that shit for years. They be like, E, you be on Facebook and Twitter and shit talking Somebody shit. Gonna Somebody beat you gonna up. fuck it. I'm, all I'm asking <laughs> you, you been in the 757 your whole life. I ain't no, no nigga that don't nobody know. Have you ever heard anybody doing anything to me? I'm talking about since I was two to how many, now 40. How many fights you been in your whole life? A lot. We fought. <laughs> I'm from Pop Place. You got to think, I'm, I'm from... I'm an eighties baby. I'm from Pop. We used to have to fight Lambus Point, shoot pop, and I was cool with Lambus Point and shoot pop. But I was fighting in the third grade. I got kicked out of elementary school for fighting. 
He was getting beat up, y'all. Okay. <laughs> Listen, and Margus don't know. Ask motherfuckers about my mama. I, I learned how to fight for mama. I seen a, a white white lady called us baby kids. My mom went out there and broke her nose. Real shit. My mom was a, a black. Neither here nor there. You no nigga that watch any and fire crash can ever say they heard somebody doing something to me. Ever. Mm. You see a nigga try to do something to my brother. Oh, you, you don't even know about that. See, I don't. Nigga can research that shit. See, you better start talking about it. Neither here nor there. Kevin Gates won't fuck me up. Period. That man works out and eat healthy. What you think I do? He gonna tie you out. You don't. Okay, Susie Lou, you ain't, you ain't been following me long enough to know I work out too. Like, first seriously. of all, no, I was on your girlfriend page. What, since when do you jump on people back while they doing push ups? Like, what was that? I never <laughs> seen that planking. before. She was planking. We trying to, we trying to get the shit to, to go viral or something. No. She stood that shit. Then she, she held that shit. We got some shit coming though. You need to see. Mm. Got some shit coming. Yeah. She, when I seen that, I said, no, he did not jump. And I'm about one eighty five. Yeah, I'm about one eighty five. Yeah. Uh -huh. She's a fucking professional athlete. She better be able to fucking hold me. So anyway, getting back to Kevin Gates. I fuck with Kevin Gates. Listen to his music. A lot of shit he be saying, you know, because he's a Muslim. And you know, my name is Iman Hamid Ibn Islam. So, you know, I was raised in Islam my whole life. So I respect that part about him. And he be speaking some real truth. But this nigga is up here talking about first, the first shit to fuck me up, you fucking your cousin. And I mean, I already fucking know who she is. We already. I ain't even going. But he didn't know that until after the fact. Susie Lou. So if you and find out. And he said, we're still going to keep fucking. All I'm telling you is, it's cousins that's not but really my cousins. But y'all already did it. No, listen not what I'm saying. Not saying that I would do anything that's like what I'm that. About to ask I wouldn't you. do nothing like that. So why but, would you defend that? He said he kept fucking her after that. But to this day, they still But y'all already did it. So what was going to change? Listen, all I'm telling you is. Isn't are they they're not talking about Drika, right? Cause I th I thought I heard him and Drika. I don't know. As well. I don't fucking know. But any nigga that, that, that says that out their mouth, cause I'm telling you, people that raised me is not my real like. I, some of my aunts I call aunt, not my real aunt. But my, their kids and their kids are my cousins. I don't. I could never even and even if I didn't know. So you in love with somebody like deeply in love with her and you find and find out, out she my cousin she is cousin. dead. Is that? But see, this is my whole point. I could never be deeply in love with somebody and not know who their family is. So I don't know what type of nigga he is. And that's why I say he talk all that. I got to have soul ties. My energy got it. So how did you know who our fucking people was, nigga? He said you he just was be young. Talking. Well, no, I think he said that they were younger. He right? say he don't fuck with women and don't fuck women unless he build a connection and energy and soul. But, but you I don't feel know like who our family just, that's is. That's now. That was now. That's what he was Susie talking Lou. about. Susie That nigga full now. of shit. Another thing the nigga said. This nigga said, if I catch my girl cheating, I'm going to ask to look at the video. He said that. He said that shit. He talking about, oh, you ain't going to show me this nigga dicking you down. Or I want to see that shit. You then, lying. He didn't ask. I don't my remember right hand to God. He that, said that. I watched that whole interview. I don't remember him saying that. He said, you ain't going to show me that video. If I catch you cheating, you can't tell me a nigga dick you down. I want to see the video. I want to see a nigga beating that put. He said, I want to see a nigga beating that pussy up. I swear, did you hear him when he said he want to fuck his jank with another nigga? Yeah, I, I heard that part. That kind of like disturbed me. But and he said that's most women' fantasy is to have to, a, the men? threesome with two dudes. No, that's not my fantasy. No, that's ill. That's nasty. Kevin Gates, she two said men? that's not a. So that means two. He said most women they want a minute come motherfuckers be gone. yeah he gone because most motherfuckers judge people but that's nasty see I wouldn't even do a threesome with two girls and you never had a threesome mm -mm. no I wouldn't want to have one either why that's nasty even on some just what like am I, sure? I can't and, know. and this is my thing now I tell I tell my folks she might start riding it better than me or something I'm listen ready to fight. No, <laughs> nah, you can't mm. do that no exactly so we're not gonna do, do it but no this is what I'm saying don't even put me in that type of position and that's what I'm saying I'm protective and kind of like they I'm an insecure nigga they call me insecure because certain shit my girl can't do I ain't fucking around really Oh yeah, you did say that last time. You can't be like that though. Like, like, you should want to show your woman off. All right, let me. No, like, no. Hey, ass. listen. She I told you home, before. That's my ass. Listen, that shit you look that shit you wore with that see through shit. Yeah, my and girl couldn't my nigga go out with me, me with that. He put that. He made me put that, that on and make go it out. Right. Why not? Once again, see, I was raised. Cause he know when I'm coming home, I'm coming home to him. I'm not coming home to nobody else. But I was raised in Islam. Uh, uh, your your woman's body is for you, not for the world. Well, so once you show the world that now you done made every man that's looking at it thoughts of damn I don't know how that ass look bent over did that in the third and well then that's why I'm not dating no Muslim 
I mean, all of them like that because clearly he had threesomes with Drika, so he don't really give a he fuck. He don't. They do threesomes? Yeah, he say we bring bitches. Man, this nigga be on some oh, shit. Oh, but he just do whatever the hell but, he But that's what I'm saying. Do. Getting back to what I'm saying, though. He was saying that, damn, I lost my train of thought, I'm man. sorry. Yeah, you got me, goddamn. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. So, I'm protective. So, the threesome shit is I'm like you. It would just be hard for me to see a girl even eating my girl out and, like, pleasing. I'd be like, what the fuck, bitch? Now, I do want, I did want a threesome, like, go on a trip somewhere and meet somebody and she with her friend. I do want to see what that feel like. Mm-hmm. I never had it, but I air phone jumping. She sell drugs or something. She sell cakes. <laughs> I do want to see what that, you ain't never even been close to one? Have no. any of your niggas ever asked you? Mm-mm. No, like I came close one time, but I was like, nah. Who was close? Like Y'all was in the room? Mm-hmm. Was y'all butt naked in the it room? It was like some crazy stuff. Like my ex wanted me to. This Henny and Fire Crafts tell the story. My ex wanted me to be. My ex wanted me to be in a relationship with him and his baby mama. Mm, on like polygamy. I guess. Like she was down with it and was trying to talk me into being with it, being with it. But it was like I was with him first. It's like I was with him first, and then his baby mama oh. came back. Oh, that's what I'm about to say. Did he have a baby while he was with you? No, like they were together previously. Like that's why. So how I did took, you come first? That's why I took the four year break. So how did you come first? What do you mean? Like you just they said were, I came they were first. together for ten years, and I mm-hmm. guess they were on a break, but I didn't know. I thought that they had broken up because I had just left my marriage. Mm-hmm. So me and him were, you know, we came together as just friends, but then friends turned into a relationship. So then when his baby mama found out that we were together, it was like we were only supposed to be on a break, and you jumped into another relationship. Mm-hmm. She wanted her family back, but he didn't want to leave me alone. So it was like why we just can't do this my baby mama cool you cool we can just you know do this together and i'm like no i don't want to be with your baby mama i just want to be with you how long did, how, how long did that last before you was like oh no i ain't doing this shit. like that day when we were at the house we were all oh at the she house. was there too yeah we were all at like we lived together we were at the house she came hold on she lived with y'all no it <laughs> You oh said God. we lived together. We did. Me and him ended up living together, but I still had my apartment. <sighs> my bad. So back to what I was saying. So Mommy do this. Yeah. <laughs> so y'all was staying together. So yeah, we ended up moving together. I still had my apartment. Mm-hmm. So my mom and my brother and my sister stayed in my Your old joint. apartment. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, then I and once, you know, the whole situation with his baby mama happens, I ended up moving back home. I went back to my house because it was just. So did you leave them? Did y'all break up or? We were like s- trying to figure out what we were doing. So then he ended up moving the baby mama in. But that only makes it. Listen, I tell you all the time. If you're going to fuck with a nigga, they got kids with somebody else and they still going to have some type of relationship. You might as well make it work. No. I know. Don't get me wrong. I don't want Because at the end of the day, I have a relationship with my kid's father and it's fathers and it's not sexual at all but it was sexual with him so he felt like i don't want to i don't want to cheat on you i want us to be able to be all up under one roof and i didn't want i wasn't with that like you know i went over like he like tried to force her on me like she was calling my phone like talking to me like trying to build a relationship yeah let me ask how she she looked though oh she's not ugly at all she's a nice looking girl even with her having i think she had three kids she had three kids at the time they had three kids Mm. like she's not a bad looking girl at all she's a really nice looking girl like i'm not gonna say she's ugly she's not but i'm just not into girls yeah so do you get do girls be getting at you though yeah for real Mm -hmm. i might flirt a little bit but bumping poo-poos if you ain't with them why you flirting with them i I don't know just be fun sometimes (laughs) (laughs) it's nothing wrong with giving a girl a compliment even like if a girl have a pro if a girl has an issue with me i'm never like hurt ugly and even if she's not ugly but come on now if she's ugly if she's a little funny looking i'm gonna say that but if she's not ugly like no now that sounds cool and see girls be sometimes be wanting niggas if if i'm talking to my girl I'm like, yo, you ever mess with girls? Nah, I mean, but I flirt with them. And, you know, I ain't. 
What if your nigga was sitting with you and you was like, yo, you like niggas? Nah, but I be flirting with a nigga it's every different, now and then. It's different you for, look at it's funny, different though, for guys. Like, it's just different. It's different for guys. Like, guys don't have the emotions for the same sex unless they're actually gay. Which won't have no issue if you are gay and you like doing that. But no, seriously, some niggas, I don't know, some niggas. And get back to Kevin Gates, all them real freaky ass niggas be homosexuals too. And I ain't calling him a homosexual. I don't know that. I ain't putting that jacket on. I'm I just telling know. you, you them super you freaky see, niggas. You want to see uh, two niggas humping the girl. I'm telling like, you, that man say he wanted another nigga to fuck. If, if both of us could please her and be in, we, could, we comfortable on who we was. And I'm like, no, I don't want to be in a... I'm not into trains because I don't want to be in a... Yeah, that video game over there. I don't want to be in another room with another dick, with, with another nigga with his dick out. Like, I got a brother and be uncomfortable with my brother in the room and his dick out. So, I mean, I don't know. I but Like, it, girls can walk around each other naked, and it's okay. Yeah, for sure. Because I done seen all my homegirls. I just think bitches is gullible, too, because all the bitches mean? was eating that shit up, too. Yeah, that nigga freaking, he was saying some real... He but said now, that he me, he practiced semen uh, uh, retention. He was talking a little... See, stuff like, that, stuff like that irritate me, because it's like, why you got to keep saying your dick big? Why you gotta keep saying that? Okay, we under, you said it one time, but why you gotta keep saying my dick long? It got the curve. Like she swallowed and Susie my shit. Lou, my do sex you believe he no, fucking women and don't bust? He say I practice semen retention. I don't bust. I can internally get an orgasm. Come on, Kevin Gates, bro. I mean, I, you fought with niggas that fucked you and didn't come before. Yeah. You might not want to say that out loud, Susie. Lou. What you mean? You think that's a bad thing? Yes. Your pussy might be, and some niggas, we talking about nah, a nigga they want on like perks because them niggas be popping on, perks and sniffing yeah, coke. Yeah, and they, it takes a you long with time. To sniff coke? No, I'm talking about even off a perk. Like, you don't know until after. It's like, why the fuck is we going? Like, once I get mad, you need to hurry up and get yours because after that, I'm good. And see, yeah, I, I'm I, not with I've all that. You're not about perk, to so hunt me really for know. no hours and I, no. So you fought a nigga that popped the perk before? What you mean? Everybody pop. Well, I don't pop perks. What so you mean? Not everybody. I'm just telling but you. A lot I've of never people, popped a, a perk in my people, life. Okay, well, then that's I you. I don't even know what the fuck but that shit is. But a lot of people are addicted to perks. A lot. Nigga, y'all drug addicts. That They are, but. You niggas, listen. You can't I, sit back and say, I mean, I can't sit back and who? say I never had sex with a guy that pop perks. Because I have. If I see a bitch pop a perk in front of me, I'm done with you. you how you even know she gonna do it in front of you? Susie Lowe. She might not, you might not even know. Where you from? I'm from Norfolk. Where at? Do you a no, perk set is gonna you, make I'm asking you, where a perk set is gonna make you I'm tired? Asking you, where you from? Where you from? I'm from Norfolk. Where at? Little Creek, Fort right. Worth. Yeah, you told me that. I'm from Park Place. We know what fiends look like when they Man, when you don't, we know what they look like when they start getting high. We know what a motherfucker look like when they get high. It depends on what type of perk you take. Now, if they take a perk thirty or something like that, that's I don't give a fuck. What nobody said that shit is saying, straight hair on. We they not. No, listen though. Don't say that out loud though. A nigga fucked you and didn't come. What you? First of all, you're not about to haunt me for no long time. I'm tapping the fuck out. But I That's thought different. women like. I, I'm, I thought women like a long. And I don't like 20 no. minutes. I'm done. I don't even need to know. Once, if we fucking past 20 minutes. Once I, don't even need I it. tell you I'm coming, hurry up and get your shit. Because I'm tired. That, that long. Damn, for real. Once I don't. It, that's why we can't start off with me on top. Because if we start off with me on top, I'm you getting like my that. shit. For real. But I know, women, I, know what, I know what spots I need to hit. Oh wow! And you gonna try to hit them while you on top? No, like, fuck I ain't this gonna nigga? try to. But sometimes you can't help it. So what's a healthy time for sex? What's the what's the, what's the what's the great 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 average? Ten fifteen minutes. Uh, yeah, I say fifteen, fifteen, fifteen. Yeah, twenty. We ain't past got. 20. We ain't even are gotta we adding foreplay in there though? With fifteen, huh? are we adding foreplay in the ten to fifteen minutes? I mean, what some head? You don't like niggas sucking your titties and shit. I like kissing and shit. Kiss like we going we can kiss while we humping, but for some Damn. reason I'm not pleased by a guy sucking my titties. For real? No. 
that you shit gonna got turn no me on. In your shit. Uh, you could be right now, be looking at your dumb ass like for I real. Wish you curvy up. Yeah, I like that shit. Really? I ain't gonna like headless. Well, I mean, just because you like doing nipple. it, but to no, me, I like doing it, and I like girls to lick my nipple too. I like sucking titties. <laughs> no, I'm not lying. I just like sucking titties. That's what we did when we was young. I like sucking I titties, and I like aroused. girls licking my nipple. I don't get aroused I don't by somebody. On my shit. I don't get aroused by somebody. So we get you. We get you started. You can just hop up and say, "Oh, we got a fuck. Let's go." No, she's still young too, y'all. It's not even that. I'm still young. Like I need to be honest, stimulation. Like I'm not even trying to be funny. Like I like to get head. You don't even gotta give me nothing. Damn, you rare. That shit turns me on. You rare. What? You're rare. A lot of women don't say I like giving head. That's crazy. I never said that before to nobody. It's Henny and Fry Crash Podcast, sophisticated ignorance, educated rationalist. That's what we do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, and I've heard women say they get turned on by giving head because they're pleasing the guy. But the, I, I rarely hear, rarely hear a girl say, "I don't mind giving head and I don't need head." Now I know girls who don't like head. Now see, I'm not. Gonna, I don't suck either. everybody dick now. No, I don't do that. And I go back to that. I don't want to fuck if you can't suck my dick. For real. Yeah, I, I mean, if I can't I eat you off, because niggas... I remember when I first met, when me and my ex first did it, mm-hmm. and he gave me some head, and then he laid back on the bed, like, and I was like, what the, what the fuck you want me to do? He was like, what you mean? I was like, I ain't sucking that. That's our first time humping. No. See, I, I'm just, and granted, I tell people all the time, they be like, oh, you... You ate her. Why would I having sex with a girl that I don't want to eat out? Nah, I'm not I, having sex with a girl that I, I can't, can't eat. I your, can't get everybody this. Now, I'm I not giving I'm everybody the full. Because I be giving a lot of girls wheat dick. I was talking about that the other day on the joint. I don't, For real? I don't, listen, I don't give a fuck if you talk about me. I don't really like you. I no, just want to fuck you because I want to fuck you. you do that. You're supposed I, to put your oil in every time. Every person you fuck? Damn right. Damn, nah, Susie, look. I'm talking about you. They supposed to know, like, man, they ain't supposed to say nothing about your dick being trash. Why? You got to go above and I beyond. don't like them. It don't matter. So what you humping them for? Let me tell you something about niggas. Sometimes I'm not niggas, humping nobody I don't like. I just see, want that's a why nut. I can't. That's why I don't see how people be. I well, just want I can't, a nut. Well, no, some girls be tricking because they have to. But me, like that tricking shit, I could never get down with that. But it's not even tricking. I'm telling you, some not, sometimes I just talk to girls and I just want to bust a nut that night. I don't have to like you. You just got to be the one that said yes tonight. I can come through or you can come through. No. Yeah, so, so that means anybody can get your listen, dick if they want no, it. No, I didn't say that. Clearly. No. Only, I had, but only, I had, only because you They're want only them. in my phone. The ones that I chose to be in there, though. So it's a it's a certain few that's in my phone. So I'm I'm picky when it comes to that's that. That's nasty. But all I'm telling you is... is that's nasty. I don't give a fuck if I fuck you for two that's minutes nasty. and give you some wheat dick. As long as I bust the nuts. Nasty. He'll hump anything. No, I, 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 well, I'm going to keep it 100 on my with my audience. It has been time in my life where if you had a heartbeat in the pussy. You ever hunt the big girl? Yeah. For real? I'm a skinny nigga. They like me. For real? Yeah. I heard big girls got real wet poo-poo. Is but see, true? this the thing. I, I've i messed with big girls, little like, girls. Big, like, what's the, what's the weight? 200 pounds. Like, that over ain't two, big. That's, I mean, I, I don't know nobody that's on 500 pound life. Like, would shit. you hunt? Would you hunt a 500 pound life girl? Nah, that bitch gotta be rich. For real? Yeah, if she was rich, I would. If she paid me, that's what I'm saying. If she was like, yo, I got 10 grand, you come fuck me, I'm gonna come fuck you. Uh, Period. Ten thousand dollars. You a spread on this? Another five thousand, I eat get you. Lost. <laughs> And I didn't watch this 500, 600 pound life for $15,000. They go, listen, and I'm a, I just told you I get some wheat dick. I'm giving good dick because I want you to cut me another check next week. That's nasty. I'm fucking the shit out of that big bit. You want to fuck a big nigga? No. 500 pounds? No. Hell no. No. Hell no. Like I like a little chubby t- chubby jank. With a little stomach, but I ain't talking about 500 pounds, none of that, no. And see, that was my shot for a long time. When you were short with like a big ass and big titties with like chunky, I that was my shot at one point. Now, you got to be in shape for me. I don't know, bitch got big bellies and shit. Oh, because nah, oh, your big. girlfriend is really in shape. Yeah, but you know, people people she say shit, oh, she, she look like a man. Okay, bitch. That's your man. No, 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 hell no. <laughs> Pause, come on, Susie, no. 
she got a pussy to get wet. So <laughs> she ain't my man. She's a she's my female. No, I'm just saying. No, nah, hell like, no, nah, hell no. Nah, don't say that shit. They say that's how she looks. So somebody will cut that shit up and call out and say, "Yeah, that's your man." No, nah, <laughs> hell no, nah, no, no. She just work out and she beat one of y'all bitches up. And I'm gonna fight her with you. You ain't got to, cause she probably gonna hit no, the no. ass one time. Susie Lou, it's my arms. sister. I seen her arms Do and saying. her legs. But listen to this. What? I need to get in the gym with and her. And she like 5'10". So she ain't small. She but listen. small. She tall. Her legs long as hell, too. She got a workout plan. You can buy it, though. I get it for you because you're doing me a favor. I I'm not even going to be able to do nah, it. Nah, she do it for, for beginners. Neither here nor there. But getting back to this. My sister, both of my sisters, my mom, my girl, get in a fight one-on-one. I'm fighting. I don't give a fuck. Look, it's wild that you we say that. Bitch oh up my together. god, it's so wild that you say that. My ass. <laughs> Let a bitch try to get get at my girl in front of me. We gonna beat you up together. My ass is so funny. Oh what? my god, we got into a fight. Well, I got into a fight with a girl at Wawa. Mm -hmm. Damn. Yes. Oh my god, I don't even fight no more. I'm too old for that. You don't but look I like got you can't fight, fight though, but that's neither here oh, nor there. Real? Nah, you really look like you just can't fight. But for real, I swear to I god, I like it like that. I feel you. I don't want nobody to think I can fight. I can't fight. So tell but me the story. Tell me the story, one. though. Tell me the story. But no, we got to fight and got to fight with the lady at Wawa. She talking about, it was basically some road rage shit. The lady was on some crazy shit. She was like, pull the fucking car over, pull Are you over. serious? Yeah, I'm not playing. Mind you, he the one driving. I'm just in the passenger seat. So he pulls over the wall. He pulled into that Wawa. That would have scared me, though. I would have tried to shoot her because I'm like, bitch, into you want Wawa, me to pull and it was two. It was two girls. Mm -hmm. It was a dyke girl, and then I guess it was her wife. Mm -hmm. So the wife was on the passenger side. My ex and my brother jumped out the car first. Mm -hmm. So when I got out the car, the wife was talking junk to me. Mm -hmm. But then the dyke one was talking junk to my on brother floor. and my ex. On floor. But see, she started calling them niggas. She going to sleep. And they were white. They were two oh, white girls. Oh, for real? Yeah, they oh, you were two going white to sleep. girls. You going to sleep. She started calling them niggas and shit. And I was like, oh, my God. I knew, like, at first I was on 10. But then when she started doing that and I seen my brother going crazy, I was like, oh, no, this right here is what we not about to do this. So I started to pull my brother into the car mm. because when I ran up on a girlfriend at first, she, like, jumped back real hard. So I already knew she was scared. So I'm like, yeah, you scared. We ain't about to do all this. Went and pulled my brother back in the car, and when I went to go turn back around to the walk back, no, the wife girl like chest pushed me, like whoom, pushed me. And I went off on that bitch out there. I dragged her out the car and everything. Next thing up, when I pulled her back up out the car, here come my ass. He linked her on the, on the side of her head. Block up. I'm looking at him. I'm like, so then the girl does. Salute to you, my guy. <laughs> Salute to you. I'm telling you, Susie Lou. I, I'm not. So, I can't sit there and do that. I'm looking at the, you know, everything calmed down and whatever. I'm looking at him. I said, now, why did you hit that lady? It won't like I was losing. I was winning. I don't give a he fuck. He told me some. She was talking too much shit. I'm just like, oh, my God. That shit was so fuck. crazy. I don't give a fuck. I was so scared. I didn't get on Instagram or Facebook for like three days after that. Why? Because it was so many people out there with their phones and stuff out recording us. I'm I was call, scared. I'm, I'm going to sit there and call the cops. And she kept saying, I'm going to call the police. I'm going to call, call the police. Call them because I'm going to tell them, bitch, you told me to come over here. You did. And you hit me first. Ex exactly. And they got cameras here. So they seen you. And, and listen, I, he better than me because soon, soon a girl would have pushed my girl. I would have hit her. I'm not letting my girl fight in front of me. I don't care who you. I'm not letting my sisters. That and if, and I'm not lying. My mom's 67 and right they now. Were, they were some big girls. If a that. motherfucker put their hands on my mama, girl, kid, you going to meet your maker. My mom's 67. You hit, but my mom got, she, she talked shit though now. So that's the only thing I be having to tell my mom sometimes. I used to work wearing the shit, y'all. She gonna cuss everybody. I'd be like, mom, just relax. You gonna, Just chill a little bit. She don't know no chill. I swear to God, we was just at the track meet and uh, we was in Richmond. She's standing in the middle of the bleachers where people walk. She's standing dead in the middle. I'm talking about Susan Lewis. A nigga walked and tried to slide. <laughs> he was a bit dude. He was trying his harder not to touch her, and he nipped her. She was like, skills the fuck out of me. I said, Ma, you standing in the middle. Now, I don't Damn. give a fuck. What he going to do? You going to get me in the fight? Because he going to floor you. But I told her, look, fuck it. I mean, if it, nah, hell no. Nah, nigga hit my mom, bitch. You going to. So what the fuck was we talking about I before we started we fucking We got that? off of that. We was done with Kevin Gates. Oh, we was talking about your girlfriend 
and nah, her muscles. Yeah, but we was also talking about like yeah. fucking and in, in the in between we time and how oh long God. is too much and all of that. What you mean? Huh? We was. Yeah, you were saying it ten minutes and you get yours oh, on top yeah. and you be done and yeah. would turn you on. What's your fantasy though? I don't have one. What's the wildest shit you ever did? On a balcony? No, I don't I haven't even did that. Would you fuck in front of somebody? No. I couldn't do it in front of people that I know. But like if me and my girl go to like Italy or go to Jamaica or some shit and we on the balcony and niggas looking, I don't give a fuck. See, I feel like that out of me. town on the balcony stuff is different. But I haven't I haven't done that yet. I fucked other people in rooms where people was at. No, I haven't did that. But everybody was in the room fucking, so. I ain't never really did no crazy stuff. See, I'm she scary. Lying, I'm so scary. What I'm not mean? even gonna lie, like I'm scary. You told me you told me you videotaped yourself before. Yeah, it's in my phone. Not even in his. It's mine. Damn. But it won't your ex though, so you still got it? That was my ex. Oh. The one you just Finish with all mm-hmm. right. So why you still got it in the phone? Why you don't delete it? What you mean? What I'm gonna delete it for? I don't know. I don't know. It's crazy because I just skimmed through it the other day. And I was like, mm. Was you putting the performance up? I or was kind of I think we both we both we both were. It's mm. kind of crazy. What you mean? Why like we both were? Do you hold the phone or y'all set it up? No, nah, I got down? a a ring light. And you put the ring light and everything. Yeah. Gosh, oh my. And that's. All right, now, this what? this the thing, too. Because I got into it with my guys the other day. No, I don't want to see my girl that I'm with a sex video that she with another nigga. But so to say, if I met you in the club, and I'm like, yo, can you fuck? And you're like, yeah, nigga, I'll fucking put this shit down. Like, you over had a sex video? Yeah, yeah, I got it. I will sit with you and watch that shit with you. Really? Yeah, because, no. but this is what I'm saying. You're not my girl at this point. You're just somebody I'm fucking with. I want to kind of see what you're doing. Because I said, and I told the girl, yo, can you suck some mm-hmm. D? He's like, yeah. I was like, yo, send me the video. Let me see what you do. I'm, I'm, that don't, because you're not my girl. So it was like, all right, I would sit with you and be like, oh, yeah, you, you kind of all right. That's all right. But this So that thing. would make you want to hunt her after you seen the video on her and somebody else? Yeah, if she, if she, it if she would. going to work here, I, I might, it might turn me on right then and there. Really? But this is the thing. They trying to say, man, that's crazy. Do you look at porn? Yeah, but you don't know them. You people. looking at another nigga dick. But you, but when you looking at porn, you don't know them people. Niggas look at porn from certain women, so you you want to be with that girl that you looking like. Niggas don't random just look at porn. Niggas look at go to there to look for a certain girl, certain shit. That's why OnlyFans is popping now because niggas spend money on OnlyFans. So. I want to know what bad baby, what bad Barbie or whatever she's her lying. name is, what she's, she's up there doing. She's lying. No, actually, she's making money off pedophiles. She don't, but she don't have sex or nothing. Because if she did, it would be on like Reddit. You've but never seen is, nothing. But I'm saying from so, her. that's what I'm saying. I want to know what she's doing on her um, OnlyFans. I heard she's just making money off having conversations with people. But she's actually or making money off pedophiles. Niggas, but she probably could be sending niggas uh, like just baby suit pictures or shit like that. But the only reason I say she's not doing that because it would have surfaced online. Right. Them niggas going to screen record that shit, send it out. Pedophile? She 18, 19. Yeah. So why they pedophile? Because she looks like a little ass kid. I've messed with girls that look young and be no, like 25. No, she's make, that's what I'm saying. She's making You look money, young as shit, though. But I'm saying, I don't look like her. She if you, looks Because you got like ass little, and titties. You're right. But I'm saying, even if, even before then, when I was 20, So you don't know nobody that's in their 30s that a bitch shaped like a 12-year-old boy that you don't be like, damn, you look kind of young. That's why I said she's making money off pedophiles. Soon as she hit 18, she got OnlyFans. Yeah. She still looks like a little girl. And I was reading about it. Was it Shade Room? That she lying about the money, too. She, that no, bitch ain't she ain't made. lying about the money. She making that money on OnlyFans. Susie, fans. she's making millions, but not 40 million. That shit was that fucking Photoshop. I'm not uh, saying she ain't, but the number is not it. no 40 million. She making it. Hell. She making it. How do you make more she than... Actually, and she actually can rap. Have you heard her music? Fuck no. You haven't? Come on, Susie Lou. So how can you say that and you never heard it? Why would I be listening to bad? Come on, you gotta bad listen to. Baby. She actually, she, I'm trying to. It's bad Barbie, I think. Where the fuck is she from? 
No, I don't know where she's from, I, and I don't, <clears throat> I don't have nothing against white people, I, but I do have something with them trying to steal our culture. So I, I just have something against white people to try to act black and see her. I don't she like that one girl that she, she used to hang with. She try to act black. Oh, you talking about what the Vicky? Vicky? Yeah, I don't, I don't like her. I don't she like me white dirty people feet. to try to act black. So and bad be trying to act like you hood and like shut. No, I've never heard. I. She, the Catch Me Outside song, I've heard it on the radio, but I've like never listened to it. People adapt to their surroundings. Like, you get the, that Vicky girl, she was not born, I don't think she was born and raised in the hood. You get what I'm saying? You're from I Lil feel Creek. Like How many white people do you know from Lil Creek? It ain't really no white people out exactly. there. Exactly. So, so that's what no I'm white saying. You adapt to your surroundings. And that bad Barbie girl, her mother actually lived, like, in the hood. She went to a black nah, school. Yeah. And probably got beat the fuck up. She did. Day. It was videos probably of that her getting beat, beat up. up. But at the same time, day. she was trying to be mean to her mama. That's how she got, you know, what she got. So, she was so one of the trouble kids. Too. Fuck it. Fuck her. Shit. Knowing how much that she Vicky money girl made gives me. Um, she retarded too. No, what's I, the my name? My bad. I don't mean to say that shit. What's She's the name retarded. of that movie? Uh, She's slow. Nah, she. I couldn't say slow. Too. I she act slow just like. Um, she act like. Oh my like, God. Um, what is the name of that movie? She act like the girl Ruth on Ozark for real, for real. That's what she No, act she like. act just like that damn man off that Malibu Most Wanted. I ain't never seen that shit. You never seen Malibu Most Wanted? Susie Lou, I'm not watching that white folks shit. Why Do you know I, how old that movie is? I've ne- I have I just never wanted to see niggas acting like they black. Rapping. Traffic, traffic, like, looking no. for my chapstick. <laughs> No, I'm not. <laughs> you never seen Malibu's Most Wanted? I'm, I'm going to go watch it now, but no. It, no. Hell How no. you never seen, what, Regina Hall? Ain't that her name? Regina Hall? She's I mean, in it. And like I said, I don't have nothing against white, I, but I don't, I mean, it, I barely watch like See, white folk culture vulture never... shit because that's a culture vulture video that's a culture vulture movie you can look at it and see that y'all trying to steal what cb4 was you ever seen cb4 when yeah. they was at see that what i'm saying they tried to steal that damn she yawning because you done gave me alcohol i keep telling you i don't wake drink. your ass up knowing that that much money bad baby mate would you would you get an only fans who who i Man, got an only fans hell no nah, Susie lou i do it's for my feet though it's own. a lot of them niggas in the I world, though. I got only though. feet. They love feet. They love feet. You do? Yeah, I got only fans with my feet. You be feet. beating dick with your feet? No, he never did that. I that's, thought they be wanting nice. to see you They beat. do, but I don't do that. So what do they be asking you to do? Like, I haven't been up there in a while. I need to update it because my people signed up, you know, unsubscribe. So I got to get back up there. But, yeah, they want to see you put oil on your feet. They love, like, the back of your feet. No, Susie Lou. You telling me oil, people pay you just to put you oil on your feet? They want to see you take your socks off. Like, huh? Yeah. They love stuff like that. I ain't no pocket watcher. Was you making money doing that shit? I mean, yeah. I just should have kept to it. You're yeah, making money make taking money socks? off feet. Yes, you be surprised. People, You have people you out here that weird. actually like Feet. Not, but people who just like women feet are pedophiles or the f- freaky, no, crazy, I mean, weirdo know, ass. If a nigga like feet. I, my homegirl, she made $500 one day because the guy inboxed her on OnlyFans and asked her to send him a video of her smashing bananas with her feet. And no she way. Did it. No way. Susie Lou, come on. Yeah. 500 And they would even pay you money if you go get your feet done and you get it a color that they like. Like here, here's a thousand dollars. Go get your feet, your feet red, and I'm gonna go do it. So that week, my feet, my toes are gonna be red just because you paid me to get my toes red. I mean, did you ever want to do more up there? Just like babies, like, because right. I know people on some only people fans that only there, just twerk some, and they some bikini. people some people up there uh, beat me on their feet and let the guy bust on it and then post it. But no, I don't do that. I don't do that. So you don't show nobody your butt or nothing. They don't mm-hmm. be like, yo, how your rest of your body look? No. They don't ask that? Mm-mm. I don't think I had any. No. What the fuck? They, would just, they just want to see. Then you put up their funky, crusty feet. They love that shit because they think your feet really stink. I got to get my girl into that shit. Yeah. Go get that money. Yeah, they like that. Feet. She got big feet, though. They ain't going to like her feet. shit, though. No, they probably would, though. For real? Yeah. They be like, oh, my God. I just want you to take a picture with your feet on the side of your boyfriend's face. I could do it OnlyFans. I just, the business I'm in, I can't do it because, I mean, like, you know, I coach and shit, so I could never want that shit to get out, so. Mm-hmm. But if I could make an OnlyFans with hips down. 
Some girls really be up there. I mean, you could just put a mask on. That y'all can do it like that. I got tats and shit that, that people know gonna know like this. Long sleeve. I'm tatted everywhere. You though. can get uh, you know, them outfits that Kanye wears. I would have to wear one get piece. Get a lime green with a hole in my just dick. put a hole with your dick. I, I would have to. I'd be the blank man. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'd be putting. I had. Now I got some nights where the performances is on point, and then I got some nights I don't feel like doing shit. I'm I'm real with my shit. Some of y'all niggas, man, I be and that's what he. Man, I be dick on a damn night, nigga. Kevin Gates, you lying. Some nights I'm gonna fuck hard, and then some nights I'm just you, you gonna heard get. You ever said he only do it to the side? That's that lazy shit. He always got to perform. But what That's if what your girl, said. listen, I'm trying to tell you, the side is popping when you really, some women like the side. I've met women that like the side. And unlike him, I'm not going to sell a nigga my dick size, all that shit. But some women like the side because it hit a certain spot. So that's not lazy, Kevin Gates. That's just some women like that shit, nigga. You, and that's my only thing. You think you the fucking, because you fucking holistic and you old deep that you just this dick god nigga why drika cheat on you for he a bitch. said that he lying he said that he never said Drika he cheat lying on he said it in the rap and everybody know it she in there with it the, if you so be beating that bit down and i had such a connection they know i'm fucking why she cheating on you bro he didn't say that he cheated on her that she cheated so on you him. think every girl that kevin gates ever fucked with never cheated on her I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. I can't speak on them because I don't. I'm not in their household, so I don't know what they going. But through. if a nigga fucking you good, you can't cheat. You ain't gonna cheat. You ain't gonna cheat if you getting everything you want, and he doing what the fuck he's supposed to be doing in the bedroom. What you cheating for? All right, well, shit, fuck it. Um, like I said, it kind of started off as like a joke for real. One of my friends made a fake post on Instagram, and then it just took off from there. Cause I didn't, well, like I said, I never started doing cakes at first. I was just doing cupcakes and then my friend was doing cakes, but her focus wasn't cakes Mm -hmm. and baking like how mine was. So I ended up getting on YouTube, learning how to do cakes and. So how long you been into it? It's been about eight years now. Damn, eight years? It's been eight years. How long did it? Just like take to get to this point because like right now you the go-to person for the cakes in the city how long did it take for you to kind of be like damn i'm kind of because that's all you kind of do though don't you yeah that's it so that's a full-time job for you a well, full-time a business time. yeah so you ain't worked in like what how old is rocky rocky's just Five, turned six. Turn six yeah yeah so yeah you ain't worked the job in six years mm-hmm. you've been able to take care of yourself making cakes yeah what the fuck am i doing <laughs> I need to learn how to fucking bake and put my feet on OnlyFans. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, because when I stopped working at the airport, Rocket was one. For real? Mm-hmm. Damn. Yep. You, I mean. I'm ready to get a job now. But then I'm saying, during the week, how many cakes you probably going to do? It depends. I try to do at least nine cakes a week. Shit. That's my goal. Nine. Mm-hmm. What's and the most you ever done time, in the week? Like, my, like, if I don't have a cake book. Mm. Cakes, uh, cake or anything books I'll do my fruit Okay What's the most you've done in a week? 15 God damn 15 cakes yes. in a week oh my god How the fuck do you I do that? I remember that week so Oh my god I remember that week When I looked back And I said I really got 15 No It was like Yeah 15 It was like 15 cakes mm-hmm. I had I had to I'm not even gonna lie I don't do drugs Nothing like that But I literally took Some me Adderall, an Adderall uh-huh. And that shit had me up for three days. Straight. Never again. Yeah, I ain't never popped that. Never I, that again. I never popped pills or nothing, but I never, heard them shits that had you up. It was a half of one. It wasn't even a whole one. Because people take them to stay up to focus on yeah. like work and shit. and I was up for three days with that damn Adderall. God damn. But you got the fucking shit done, didn't you? Yep. Sheesh. You ever fuck somebody shit up and they just not want to pay you? What? Yes. But is it your it's fault? It's not even that they didn't want to pay me. It was, you know, they they weren't just, they weren't happy. But I look at it like, you know, all that stuff, like when my customers complain and all that stuff like that, I look at it like it's a learning experience. Shit, the cake that I had go out today. The lady, the lady came and picked her cake up yesterday. She didn't like her cake. 
Was it? Was it? it did it look like, like what she, she designed? It wasn't that she didn't like it. Like she didn't like you know the design or anything like that. The color was wrong. Mm. Now she didn't tell me that she wanted it a certain color. Mm. So when she picked out the, it was a cake that I had already did. It was mm-hmm. like a purple. It was a purple cake, and whatever what Marilyn Monroe wanted. So when I did the cake, the bubble gum that's on the cake is like a hot pink like mm-hmm. color. So I took purple and I took the hot pink in the cake and I just, you know, come back and then one. So when she came, she was like, well, my theme is mainly purple. So I'm like, well, in my mind, I'm thinking like, okay, well, the cake was purple, but her bubble is pink. So I just wanted to, you know, make it spoof it that's up. Something small. Right. That's, so she that's was just really like, a nigga trying to, she was like, trying to not pay for the shit. Yeah. But no, she had already paid for it in full. Mm. So she was like. At first, she was like, yeah, I like it. But I could tell that she really didn't like it. So I'm mm. like, you don't like it? She was like, no, 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 it's pretty. It's pretty. It's just that it's just not going to match my colors, but I really love it. And I'm like, you don't like it? And she was like, no, I'm not saying that. Like, if I felt like she wanted to tell me, but she didn't really want to tell me. Do you get offended when somebody don't like no, this shit? No, hell no. Tell me the truth. I want to know the truth. Because in that way, it's not like if you don't tell me and then say, for instance, somebody make a post about me on on Facebook or Instagram or something and they mention something and you're like say for instance no it's you oh I got a cake from Susie and I didn't like it she did XYZ and I'm like oh yeah I got a cake from her too she did blah 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 and I over her and I'm like well why didn't you tell me that yeah you get what I'm saying so it's like which tell I'm gonna tell me. somebody but now if you right, get on some, some bullshit people, and try to act like don't. what nigga and I'm but like, no see I'm not I'm not like that tell me I want to know what I need to correct so I told her before I walked off I said look keep that cake because she didn't need it until today I was like mm-hmm. keep that cake I'm just gonna make you another one and that's what I did I made her a whole new cake I did it the color that she Hell needed no. today I swear to God why you just tell her I give you 20% off the next one because for what she doesn't want it it's not the right color I already so made this I went, cake. I give you twenty percent off the okay, next one still, you get. My customer was not satisfied. At the end of the day, I'm all about my customers being happy. So I went above and beyond, and I made her a whole nother cake. I it's mean, a I lot. It's a it. lot smaller than the cake that she got. I but feel you. But my I thing is, it. you can still serve that cake, I'm but it doesn't have to be on display. Yeah, it doesn't have to be on this. It doesn't. It doesn't have to be on display. But my thing is, I'm just all about you know pleasing my customers. So it's all about communication. Like, don't sit and tell somebody else that. You weren't happy with your cake I mean, instead of telling me. No, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. That's what anything, though. If you got a problem, let me know. So you make people pay up front. I make them pay a deposit before anything is even done. Okay. And then they pay in full once the they get it. The remaining is due the day of pickup. Have any, I mean, how many times do you get motherfuckers just not even call you and, and pick up a cake? I had that a few, a few times. Like, people the day of... But it's it's so weird because every time a customer did that, I had a feeling from the jump did that it was going to be something about this customer. Yeah. And it's like, then they'll hit me with the, I'm not coming today, or I got to push the event back. And it's just like, all right, cool. Something told me not to do your order. That's a good business, though. That's kind of like doing hair or something. Motherfuckers have birthday celebrations every day. every day. Like every mm-hmm. day of the year is somebody's birthday, is somebody's celebration. I mean, do you enjoy it though? Yeah. I want to start doing nails though. Nah, hell. Well, you are kind of Chinese, motherfucker. Yeah. It's, I used to do nails when I was younger. For real? Mm-hmm. When I was younger. But that's going to get in the way of your cake business. I actually get my son. Maybe you gay, you get your hands manicured, man. Shut up, man. Mm-hmm. See, and it's, I'm getting my kids into that. Like, when I go get my nails and my feet done, I take mm-hmm. my kids with me. Yeah, man should keep himself up. My dad used to iron his drawers. I mean, nigga won't no father, but he used to iron he his used drawers. He used to iron his drawers. Yeah, yeah. like he was a pretty boy. Well, I feel like nowadays you don't even got to do that no more because if you wearing big boxes, you can't be in, Listen, you can't Ithaca, be in my face. I don't wear nothing, I don't wear nothing no. else. No if cloth. You big, if you wear big boxers, your ass stinks. <laughs> For real, Yo, you had do strikes and everything in your drawers. Niggas be wearing boxers though. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't. I can't. Don't wear. no. Them the ones they be having musty balls and stuff. You say you fold big niggas though. Big niggas can't not and be. And they musty. don't wear boxers like big loose jail boxers. If they wear tight shits, they gonna. They wear the tight ones. 
Yeah. Stink wet type boxes. So, so when you start doing nails though, what you gonna do with the cake? You only one person. How you gonna kind of? Right. I mean, I'm gonna just have to move around. But I, that's what I want to do though. Okay. Like, I mean, to is be it honest, because you're getting kind of tired of cakes, or it's not even a simple fact of getting tired. It's I don't know. It's not like I'm getting tired. Like cakes is easy. It's like I love to be challenged, and it's like my customers aren't challenging me to do crazy stuff. So it's like I'm getting bored. Hmm. But that nails, you got to deal with niggas one on one, man. Motherfuckers you be right. picky with them nails. No. Oh, man, and that, but see, I really want to do like natural nails. Hmm. Like I want to help people. Like I'm like I'm, I'm gonna take a class. It's a class I'm getting ready to take with the girl. And it's like, I basically like want to help people that have ugly feet. Because I told you, I don't like feet. Yeah. I want to help people get pretty feet. Nah, if you got ugly feet, you just got no, ugly feet. No, I didn't I see some stuff. I'm talking about, I didn't see some stuff in these classes that I'm getting ready to take. I'm trying to tell you, I can And they perform. can fix their shit. What? I just don't Even the people that got like the pinch toes, when they toenails like kind of grow yeah, like in the like, curve, yeah, like, yeah. yep, I know how to fix them. So, this is my whole point. If you don't like feet, how the fuck are you going to work on feet? Because I'm going to fix them. Everybody's going to have beautiful but feet. But you just said leave. you don't like niggas I with don't. fucked up feet. So, so I can't sit in front of you. No, I'm going to sit in front of you and I'm going to just <clears> look at you like I'm really I'm about to help you. And y'all, y'all ain't heard that story, but she literally told me one time a nigga had ugly feet and she couldn't fuck with him. And I'm like, what? That yeah. could have been your, your future husband. Like, no, feet? No, feet. No. You wear fucking socks. No, because if you come into me to get your feet fixed, I know you care. You care about your feet. I really don't, though. I mean, you don't. And I don't have ugly feet, but I, if a girl yeah, wants to leave me because my feet, feet are Your feet are really nice. But I'm saying, it's people out here that have fucked up feet, and they just don't do nothing about it because they don't give a fuck their feet fucked up. But it's people out here that have fucked up feet, and they want pretty feet. So I'm going to mm. be the one to give them pretty feet. I feel you. It's certain shit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, just nah, like nah, people, nah. just like I seen, I seen, I follow this lady on Instagram. She clean houses mm -hmm. for people that's like mental under depression and stuff up. like yes their house Shit really be nasty yeah. and you know i was watching it and looking at the comments and people are just like no they're lazy they're nasty they this and that nah, they it's not up it's in no head, they're man. really like they're fucked up and they see that their house is dirty but their mind is racing so much they can't clean it up. They can't figure it so out. So they need someone to come and clean it. People like that, I feel like they're not dirty. They're just not stable to keep to upkeep their homes. For sure. I know people that's not dirty and I go in their house like, God damn, why, why have shit like, ever what, got down right. yeah, So they have to have somebody to come and clean their house. Plus shit like that be mental issues because I be watching hoarders and I be kind of feeling bad for my I'm telling but the one see, time Marvin had stuff, to climb. Yeah. On, they could not walk and through the I house. I love to watch. That is my show. My I love ex hoarders, used to be mad. He but I like the ending of it. I be liking to see the with end. The end yeah. when they house be clean. But I be feeling bad because I know it's going to go back. Listen, and I swear to God, my mom was trying to be a hoarder at one point <laughs> she would get mad because when we would move her me my sister and my brother would just be throwing, throwing shit away, away. Mm -hmm. fuck it why the fuck y'all no why fuck this throwing my, stuff away? my I mom need buy, this. listen she buy bags and shoes and don't go anywhere she goes to rite aid and spend i've never seen nobody go on rite aid spend 200 dollars Oh, Swear what? to God, exactly my mom buys clothes from rite aid why ain't even no rite aid sold clothes it, <laughs> mom come home with a sweater and I'd be like, what? You spent $200 hey. in Rite Aid and shit be crazy. But yeah, that shit is crazy. So what's the future for Susie Lou? Because you say you're in grind mode right now. I mean, yes, do you have I a number you're trying to get to? Or you're going to miss it's the whole summer, It's not even forced. And that's fine with me. That's fine. Concerts going on. I don't care. I told you I don't like to be around a bunch of people. So what if you meet a nice guy, though? I was, you know, I was supposed to host a club last night, and I did not go. Hold on. They was paying you? Then you can't be on your grind. Exactly. Oh, That's why I didn't go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? They you know they hit free you, promo? You know they hit you with the, I'm going to give you a section in the bottle. I don't drink. I don't need no section, my nigga. I don't nigga. need no section. I stand behind a DJ. But DJ, if you pay it's me. It's not right. You know the hosting stuff around here. If you ain't big, big, you ain't getting no money. So, yeah, I didn't go. It's like I don't care to be outside. I don't care to be but on they the come, scene. If you just posting it and promoting it, they're going to make five, five, yeah. 50 niggas going to come. Because yeah. all you got to do, y'all, is come. It's, I didn't even post it. They tagged me in it, and I shared it from the tag like that. But to physically post it, no. So you be giving niggas free? 
Let me manage. It's not even that. No, just let me manage end, you. Well, it's not, it's, it's not no even that because at the end of the day, the guy who threw it, he's actually you know supporting me. He's the customer. Oh, he came right, and got okay. stuff for me. So you know, I really wasn't too worried about that. But a business that. is business. Business is you business. You right. I don't owe you, you shit because you buy end, a cake you from right, me. But at the end of the day, I play fair too. Nah, but see, I'm telling you though, Susan, I motherfuckers be out here on that. Man, I did it. Just because you bought a ticket for me at one of my parties don't mean that I got to do something for free for you. Business you is right. business. You I didn't ask yeah, you. You right. right. But at the same time, I'm looking at the like. Nah, it and, I, and I tell people, you got to put your feelings to the side. And I do business with family, but I let family know it's business. It don't have nothing. Like, you got to pay for my services. I'm not working. I've been in the game 18 years. I ain't working nobody out for free. Don't bring me your kid to coach your kid. If your kid is not on my team, now if you're on my team, I'm going to coach it for free. All my kids that I have a coach, I coach for free AAU. But if you coming to me saying, yo, you want me to coach your kid, I right, $50 a session. Or the lowest I'm going at this point, I ain't even going to tell my numbers, but I yeah, you got to pay me. Back. They, be, they lazy. You better go. Listen. You better put them back in sports. I know. Yes, I, I was so. alright though. I'm with you. Yeah. That so why Rocky. you? I mean, it's that Rocky. Yeah, he be he be at Don't he be at that. the line. Yeah, he be <laughs> he, hey he be wild, but but the only thing those be the kids that get good when you keep them in it, mm -hmm. cause them niggas be with full of energy, and motherfucker the kids that I know with full of energy love to run. Why? I mean, why you don't make them do shit? I just ain't found them a good team. I, I be me and parents though gonna... who gives a fuck. Put them in somewhere. You right, but I'm just not about my son. He quit his. Well, he didn't. Well, he you know he finished his year out with mm -hmm. track, but then you know he was like, "Mommy, I don't want to run with them no more." Mm. So, so it was yeah, like yeah, you, you made my baby feel some type of way. I don't know what you did. It's he really don't want to speak. Though, he don't want to speak on it. So it's just like, okay, well you don't have to run for them. Mama find you another team. So find them but another then team. But then it's like you know. Like, not even trying to be funny. It's like, I want my baby on a team where the coach is going to be professional. You get what I'm saying? This, like, this is my only thing on At the end sports. of the day, I'm bringing my kid to you. Why are you in my face? But this I ain't running track. But Susie, this is my only thing I ain't sports. playing football. Uh, and that's why I was about to tell you. The only thing in you sports, you look good. That's why half of these niggas the going to try to fuck. You only see me at the game. I'm not when you see me at practice. I'm staying in my car. But see, that's different. My sister going. My sisters and them be out there because they. No. And, and don't get you me wrong. Me I'm in youth game. sports. It's a lot of unprofessional ass niggas, niggas. But some of these, I'm telling you, and I'm not saying that person. Some people do that shit to fuck niggas' mamas because they don't get girls outside of that. And but. Some of the mamas be listen. I didn't coach a lot of people, kids, where they mama they be want trying their kids to throw them. To outshine everybody else, want to show favoritism or whatever. I ain't like, gonna overcoach you because be your mama sucked my dick. Um, Wait, what? I'm not gonna start you because your mama sucked my dick. If you terrible, you bad. You Period. Terrible, and you I want to win, so I don't give a fuck. Right about that. And I've never fucked none of my my parents because that shit is just like I don't want to see you. Like, and that's why I told you because I. May not like you, and I just want to fuck you, suck, suck my dick, bust in your mouth, and see you tomorrow. Not want to speak to you. Literally, I walk right past you because I don't like you. You was something to me, but get your kids and something. I mean, shit, make them. I mean, because the one in middle school about to go to high school. No, nah, he going to middle school. He in oh, middle school. He, they got he middle school teams. Grade. They got middle school teams. Yeah. He going to Bayside. He going to Bayside Middle this year. Why do you bitches don't like you though? For real though, Susie Lou. I feel like I don't beat around the bush. I speak my mind. Like, if something is on my mind, I'm going to speak it. And then sometimes people just can't handle, you know, my jokes. They can't handle it. Like, I laugh about everything. People are too, some people are just too serious. And, you know, my sense of humor is different. So it's like, I just, I don't know. It's like, I can't massage your feelings when I'm not even being serious. But not everybody's insecurities can deal with jokes. Because I'm, I'm going to tell you, on my way up here, I'm on the phone with my guys. We was on FaceTime. We do it every Sunday. And, and, and somebody made a joke towards me. And it, it touched my insecurities. And I started going off because it's just some shit to me ain't funny. Right. And I ain't saying it ain't funny to y'all. But some shit you say ain't funny to me. And I... I'm like, yo, y'all, y'all. Yeah, and I mean, yeah. you right. It's like some people, you know, they just really just can't take a joke. Like, for example, one day we were out, 
at a show and the girl was walking and her heel was like coming in a little bit. I hope you so didn't say nothing. I recorded oh, it come on, and whatever and was bad. laughing. That's bad. But what I did was I did not show her at all. All I did was zoom in on her shoes. Nah, that's you bad. can't see Susie her feet Lou. at all. How is that bad? Come on. Do you know how many videos are out here of people falling on their face yeah, or whatever the case may but be? But that's kinda like, come on. That's that's come on. And it did you post it is the question. I sure did. So if whether you show my body or not, but I know that's me, and a lot of people that's with me know that's me. I ain't nobody's fucking butter joke. Don't nah because hell no. Because your feet was hurting. Who told you to wear heels? We won't even end no establishment that had Susie to wear Lou, heels. You ain't never seen people dress how the way they want to dress because some you people right. say that's I. Right. But her feet looked like they was hurting, so we was laughing. <laughs> we were laughing. We was joking. So what and did she I say? recorded it and kind of found out the girl followed me on Instagram, but she took it as. Cause me and her, we had a conversation about it. Mm -hmm. She was like, "My feet ain't hurt. You weird for posting something like that." You are though. And I'm like, "Well, how am I weird? Because people do it all the time." Nah, so you get what I'm saying? That's, no, that's bad. people do it all the time. Does that make it right? A lot of niggas smoke dope. Bro, if my feet hurt and we out together, you joking me and you post, I don't care. I'm a laugh. This is what I'm saying, but because a lot of people do it, a lot of people still smoke crap. That don't make it. Well, don't make it right it. I can't help it They want to be a crackhead at No but I'm day. just telling you Because a lot of people do it Don't at make it right At the end of the right. day I did not post it As far as being malicious I posted as being funny Like it was a joke Your fucking feet hurt oh, But you well. ain't a comedian though So I feel what you're coming from I am a comedian all I'm, I'm trying funny to tell as hell you, you are funny But you are You definitely are funny But all I'm telling you Is if I see a nigga Post half of my body Man that nigga got them Fake ass Jordans on And I see it Bro, we got why smoke the fuck because you got fake ass Jordans on. Some people can't afford real Jordans, and what's so it to why, you? So why? Okay, when well, you need to go and get some shoes that you, you can a, afford, listen, why are you wearing fake ass Jordans? A grown ass man should not be posting pictures of me. No, you shouldn't. A grown ass man should not go out and buy some fake ass Jordans. I mean, I, I don't have fake Jordans. But no, I'm I just have. Saying. No, hold on. I have bought fake Jordans when I was younger. I mean, who the fuck have? Why are you buying fake shoes? I bought fake DCs because at, at one point, <laughs> when you 14 years old and you get your check and you check a hundred dollars and it's a nigga up the street that's selling fucking DCs for 25, you think I ain't? That's Either crazy. that or go to school with dirty shoes. You Which one? Because I grew up humbled. I don't you know, know about you. I ain't grow up it's rich. It's so crazy because growing up, my dad used to sell fake shoes. He used to. I might have caught a pair from to, him. My dad used to sell fake shoes. But he never bought me any. Y'all had it good. We would, go to the, we would go to the store and get my shoes. But see, I'm different. Once I started working, I never asked my mom for shit. So, yeah, and so I ain't had my dad in my life. So I, I felt like, you know what? I only got a hundred. My check was only a hundred. Or I only had this. But I'm not going to go spend a whole hundred hundred fifty dollars on Jordans. Well, and if Jordans I go to the not that much back then. They was one fifty back then. No, they weren't. Yeah, they was. In the 90s and 2000. Yeah, they were? Yeah, it was like 150. They 220 now. DCs yeah. was only like, low top DCs was 50. They were 50. They was like DCs 50 was and 50 high top was like days. 70. But this is what I'm trying to tell you. Why would I spend half of my 100? Damn, that's crazy. I DCs can get a pair for $20, go get me the two for two jeans and a couple white tees Shit, and I got some money to take a joint out. $50 no more. Listen, I'm scared to have boys because I'm telling you right now, once you're fucking, my one nephew got wear size 14. Bruh, Man, you gonna How get no sixteen. Oh hell no! He uh, need to get him a job. Boy. Listen, Moochie just. I got want a girl. A six. If I get me a girl, I'm gonna be happy. If I get five girls, I'm gonna be happy. I don't want no boy because they're gonna be tall as shit with big ass feet, and they're gonna try to swell up on me one time. If you have you girl, really if you have a girl with your girlfriend, she gonna have some big feet. You already said your girlfriend got big feet. Yeah, but but Besides my girl still she wear. She still only wear like an eight in women. That's not big. No, that's. I mean, cause she's tall. Yeah, she five ten. Yeah, cause I'm a four and a half no tall. But you know what? When I get married, I want my bridesmaids to wear a suit. No, don't do that. That's like the skinny pink suit, Lou, come the on. nice. That shit's Man, that tacky shit as hell. Sweet. No, that's no, it's, it's not. not. I'm telling you. All I'm telling you, you talking about, you talking about, you talking about niggas joking. I'm gonna put y'all motherfuckers on Instagram. Look and at that's this girl. And they gonna be like, oh, them bitches look sweet. No way. Yes. Are they dykes? No. In pantsuits? Yes, like fitted pantsuits. No. They're going to be Susie sweet. Susie Lou, that's going to be wet. No, uh, no, don't do and that shit. I don't care. Joke me. Say whatever you want to say. That's my wedding. Ma that's my, and that's my thing. Did like, you have a wedding for your first marriage? No. So is that a dream of yours? Mm -hmm. I'm getting or married again. Big joint? Big wedding? Big wedding. 200 people? 
more than 200. Hell no, nah, Susie Lou. Why, why, why would you want to pay all that fucking money for big other family. people? Big family. Big right, only. If we can't do it big, oh, we I'm not good. getting married. I told my girl 50 or less. I got what? a big family. I'm, I'm, listen, I'm not paying for 200 people I better to be, eat. I better be in there. Because this is the only thing. I like good shit. I, I like bet, eating. I better be in there. You're going to be in there. But I eat good. Or I'm crashing that wedding. And it's the thing, though. Yeah, I bar. better do that, Kate. Or I'm crashing that, too. But see, the only thing, though, you make cakes, but I don't want, like, no fucking pitcher cake and shit. Like, I want a wedding cake. I ain't never seen you make a wedding cake. Are you serious? I ain't. I mean, I, yeah, all I see is the shit you make with, like, fucking toys and shit and Are sneakers si- and shit. Don't play with me. I'll look at it after this, but. Yeah, because no, don't, no. don't play with me. I was, if, if I got married in the 757, I would definitely support don't you. I would definitely be like, yo, now, make my no, shit. No, I want to show you this on camera talking about something. After no, I'm bougie though, uh, Susie Lou. So my okay. shit, and and I'm so like, who's super, you trying to say, you trying to say my, no, but all my no, 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 cakes no, 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 aren't no. ghetto. And, no, 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 I and can't I'm help super it with, like with creative. So, like, I be wanting like detail, extra shit. Like, that one's saying, all there's no wedding cakes in there. You this should pin the, the wedding last, cake. Last wedding oh, no, cake that dope. I did. No, that's dope, but that should be pinned at the top though. And then the one before that, which was this one, like, don't play with me. I do this. I don't like that hat. I don't like that shit on the side. What the you words, mean? Them words and shit. I don't what want you? no words on the side no, of my motherfucking. Uh, what word? You talking about right here? Yeah, I don't want no fucking. All it say is happily ever after. No, I don't want no words on my fucking cake, dog. It's not on the cake. It's a topper. It's just I want at my the bottom. shit like gold too. Because like the they whole had a cake um, being they gold. had a heart at the top. Because you make a whole cake being gold. I've done it before. I did um. I did one like that. It was my reception will be jumping though. Yeah. Open bar. If you sitting down, I'm kicking you the fuck out. I want everybody up dancing. Twerk, I'm bringing strippers to my goddamn. What? Yes. I say at my wedding, it's a mandatory twerk session. Mm, I'm coming to your shit. <laughs> no, I, mandatory no. twerk session now is going to be at my wedding. Now my girl going to be like, oh, Susie get married. I'm coming with your ass. Yeah, she can come. My only thing, though, I don't really like girls that twerk in the club, but don't let a nigga get on their ass. Why has Why that you been on my fa- ass Why has that been phased out? Because don't nobody do that no more in the club. Why? Unless, you, unless, like, when I was with, when I would go out with my ex-boyfriend, I would twerk on him. But if I'm going out with my girls and shit like that and the nigga grab me, don't I fucking grab me. the camera. No, no, nah, that's... If you, I, if I'm in VIP and you with me in VIP, or you're just on the floor throwing your ass, why has that phased out? Me getting on your ass, dancing I mean, with you. Some people still do it. They do, but it's not a lot. It, it's not a lot. It's girls not a got lot. mad one time. I was, I'm like, yo, what the fuck? You, you shaking your ass in front of me? I'm still in that era where that's what I like to do. Yeah. And we funny. You ever look at a nigga dancing with a girl? They look crazy from the back, but I don't, I don't like that. That's phased out. Of, Women don't, nobody really dance in the club no more, but I don't like that y'all took away niggas getting on your ass in the club. Don't I don't be one no little hard dick on my that's ass. That's little kid shit, though. I feel like that's what we did at teen parties. We not at teen parties. We in the club. We chilling. We vibing. We listening to music, drinking our drink, chilling. I might do a little twerk, twerk heel, but after that, no. Nah. Y'all meet niggas in the that's club and kid fuck shit. them, though. I, no, it's not. Mm, it's having that. a good time. It's interacting with people is and i'm not saying you have to dance with every nigga but if a nigga look good he smell good he you probably been on him you know you dancing i in met front a guy in the club one time one time and it was the weirdest shit ever like i met him in the club he got my phone number now mind you i didn't know him from a can of paint mm-hmm. gave him my number the next day he hit me up he wanted to go out for breakfast and whatever we went out for breakfast then like the day after that he was like um, come to the house and chill, blah, blah, blah. So he ended up calling me that next, not that next day, but that day after we chilled. Mm-hmm. And we know we went to breakfast. And he called me while he was at the mall. And he was like, I'm in Victoria's Secret. What size drawers you wear? Mm. Why you buying me drawers? You only know me for three days. This one you had the little ass? Yes, I didn't have this ass then. <laughs> and I was like, it was just so weird to me. So it was like, I told him, but then like oh, what the, you told him like, the size. I told, yeah, I told him. I was like, at first, no, because when he asked, he was like, "What kind of draw? What size draws you wear?" So when I told him, and then afterwards, I'm like, "Why are you asking me that?" He was like, "Oh no, nah, I'm in Victoria's Secret, getting grabbing you some draws and some stuff." So I'm like, "That was weird, though." Yeah, it's kind of thought, it's kind of thoughtful. No, three but it's kind of saying I want to fuck. Right, three days in, you buy me draws. 
some niggas why the fuck you ain't buy me flowers why you ain't ask me what's my favorite meal so you could have cooked for me this my thing though this our first time actually like chilling chilling so i wasn't gonna go to his house anymore after that because i already knew what the fuck oh so you went to his house before then no we went to breakfast the day after the club did he ever talk about sex during that time no so it was like you know that's why i was kind of cool because it was like we vibed a little bit because once you take the draws he's gonna say i want to see you in them right i mean that's but that Niggas still, but that's what I'm saying. What year is this? Because if niggas this still doing that in 2022, is, nah, I'm like, this yeah, was, this I'm was a say. long, long Because if niggas time still doing, and I get it, some gullible ass bitches are fall for it. Yeah, like, oh, he bad me draws. No, I went over there and I seen that Victoria's Secret bag. I see you really bought me some draws. He was like, yeah. And then when I pulled them out, it was like all oh, these draws. I looked at that bag after we got done watching that movie. I left and never called. I got a rule though. And I left the draws there. I got a rule though. If I get your number in the club or just anywhere, and I'm not gonna call you for like two, three days. No. I'm gonna mm-hmm. let you sit. He called me. Cause if I call you and you don't remember me, then I'm, I ain't gonna call you no more. Ooh. Because you know, if I met you in the club, I don't know if you really wanted to fuck with me or you just was. You so I give I it two, three days. Too. I be thinking that too. Like and when if you I hit give me with, who my is number this? to people, uh, bitch, and I'm they done. text me or something, and then I know like who they are because I know who I gave my number sure. out to. And then I'm like, you know who this is? Yes, I know exactly. It's not that they're surprised that I know. But that's hum because that's humbling though. When the motherfucker texts you who this, I I be wanting to be like, bitch. But don't be texting me because I don't delete nothing. Unless I don't talk to you no more. Then once I delete the whole thread, once I did, like that, once I delete the whole text message thread, your number, all that, we good. But I don't trust people that don't delete shit. Why? Because I just don't like having a whole bunch of shit in my phone. Because when I'm trying to go back to something that I needed, I don't want to have to stroll back through. Hell no, he doing. So seriously though, when you gonna get you a nigga? And I'm telling you, that call earlier is definitely a guy. So you gotta. <laughs> You try to act like, oh, I'm on grind mode. I ain't fucking with nobody right now. Clearly, <laughs> he wants to see you. And you had to explain where you was at and all of that. So women definitely be capping No, shit that like man that. is crazy. Like, he is off the chain. That man is crazy. But I don't know why I like that crazy shit. You do? Yeah. I was just telling my homeboy, yo, the ever we in now, women love toxic niggas it's not even being toxic it's just the fact of him making me feel like he wants me from dealing with somebody that is so nonchalant you get what i'm saying because with my ex like i'm not gonna lie like we fuss and we argue but it was more so on me fussing and him just like all right whatever because niggas don't be wanting to do all that right so then but no but then when we fuss and then it's like he's yelling at me. It's just like. So that's some inner shit you got. to Like, why are you yelling? With. Why are you yelling at me? Like when I'm yelling at you and I'm mad and we fussing, you won't yell at me back or you won't say nothing then while I'm mad. But if we're sitting down and we're having a conversation like this and I'm not yelling at you, but then you start yelling at me. It's like, bro, what you yelling for? I'm not even yelling. We, <laughs> we can't sit back and have a, a simple conversation. Then he's like, I'm not yelling at you, bro. The neighbors can hear you. You're yelling. Like, why are you talking so loud when we're having a conversation? But when I'm in that heated argument with you, it's, all right, whatever. Yeah, you right. Because if I start sparring with you, niggas know it's never ending. No, nah, yes, it is. Because we got to, we have to come to the common ground. Y'all barely but seldom like, want to, though. No, y'all but made once, y'all mind up no, and ain't, no, no, ain't shit I a nigga feel like, say. No, once we sit down and we're having a conversation and I'm not yelling no more, I'm not fussing, that means I sat down and I thought about, you know, the situation. So now we're going to sit here and talk about how it made me feel, how it looked on my end, and now I want to hear your side of the story. So why are you yelling? When well, you should have yelled. The other day when we nah, was, when fuck we was in that. the This match. the nigga you wanted, your nigga right no. here. And then it's like, I don't like the, all right, well, like if I break up with you. You look like you want to win if an I argument break up, all the time. No, because I'm very understanding. I listen. I really listen. That's what every chick say. And, no, and don't be though. And don't be though. I listen though. and I look at stuff from everybody's point of view. Like, I look at stuff from everybody's point of view. Just like how you said the 
about the whole me posting the shoes stuff. Yeah, you like, was wrong. From you, you feel like I was wrong. wrong. I feel like I don't. I'm not wrong. But I can feel where you're coming from on the outside looking in because that's how she felt. But I'm, I'm like I said, I apologize, sir. It was never nothing like that. And like I told her, I'm like, bro, it's funny. Even if you would have seen me out with with my heels and my feet was hurting. Post it, I don't care. Nah, but no, nah, and like I, fight, no, 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 no. And like I told her, bro, if I would have known that was you, I would have tagged you in it. God damn. You cold blooded. How? God no, damn. look at her with her damn feet are all hurt. Like I feel like that's just my personality. That's just me. So it's like if you not around me or you don't know me, you're not gonna get it. You're not gonna understand. But you don't got a lot of female friends, do you? I don't. I can tell. Why? Most females with I mean, that I personality used to hang, trait. I used to bang. hang around a lot of females. Most but women can't. I mean, but, but, I can't though. Like, I, I still have friends from my childhood, but it's like we just women are catty. It's hard. It's hard for y'all to have longer re- friendships with other women because it becomes. It really does become a competition after a while. I don't mm. care what nobody say. I got sisters, so I used to look at their friends, which they don't really have friends, and I ain't saying all their friends is this way. But women are super catty. It's just like, man, some men want to have the biggest dick in the room, and I get it, but with me and my niggas, we all have different qualities with us. Like, if all of us was like me, we would never have been able to get along. Me and my niggas, would, none of them are like me. Nobody like Pig. Nobody like Sean. Like, we're all actually different motherfuckers. That's right. why we're able to kind of click. But when most women... See, I don't have, like, a group of friends. I have my own friends. Uh-huh. Like I don't hang around a group And that's what you told women. me last time. Like these two friends is cool ain't cool with these two friends. It's not friends. even like they're not cool. They just don't hang around each other. Like I have mm. my own relationship with my friends. Like you'll never see me out with a group of girls and I'm like, Oh, these my bitches, like no. Can any of your friends ever fuck with one of your exes? A no, old, a and old, they wouldn't old want work to. then. No, no. I ain't saying an ex old work. This no, a nigga didn't want, they no? wouldn't even want to. Susie Lou, y'all be y'all be fucking uh listen, and women always say that I nah, will y'all be fucking friends. No, we don't. What? Fucking our friend niggas. Uh boyfriends. A uh, ex work. No or something like that. Hell no. How that uh no. What's wrong with that? What you mean what's wrong with that? You was into my friend, now you trying to be into me. I don't even like the if if a nigga is inboxing my sister or one of my homegirls and then he come in my inbox and I find out, bro, you dead. Hmm. You show interest in my homegirl and my or my sister or whoever first. I just don't like you no more. And I like them. What's wrong with that? And that's fine, and it's up to them if they want to deal with you. But if it was me, no. Nah. And that's what I'm saying. Would you be mad if they won't want to deal with me? So if me and you was talking and I don't fuck with you no more, but it wasn't super serious, because I get it. My my nigga's not going to fuck with one of my ex girlfriend. But if it's my old work, they're not even, they don't even have to ask me because I don't care. Even like, if it's my ex girlfriend, I don't care. If she will fuck with one of my niggas, I don't care. I mean, I don't care, but at the same time, I would not do it. If they ask you, yo, Susan, can I fuck with? You gonna say yeah? Go ahead, but at the same time, I know my friends ain't gonna do it. So none of your friends ever, you ever fuck two friends? What you mean, like homeboys? Yeah, like, <laughs> what's wrong with that? Because you laughing like, no, you laughing like. It's like, I don't think I have. No. Not for small though. Not so. for is small. This so whole area is small. You probably fuck with a nigga that fuck with a nigga that fuck with a nigga. And see, I tell people all the time. Don't let I used to tell all if my old I know homes. It, like, but if, see, that's what I'm saying. No, like, say for instance, if me and you was dealing with each other, right, mm. and we like messed around or whatever, and then like somebody that I've seen, I never actually seen y'all together, but say I just seen y'all in the picture on Instagram or something, mm. and he tried to holler at me, and I'm like, oh no, I used to mess with oh boy. Like I would actually say yeah, that. Yeah, see, I, and, and I'm I'm telling the you don't even gotta tell me shit like that because at the end of the day, you gonna know who my niggas is, and that's my only thing. What dudes used to do. There wasn't Sean Pig, Steve on Shane, my brother. They would see a jank that I used to mess with and try to act like we was cool, or they'll see a jank that they used to fuck and they see me fucking with her now. They be like, oh, you fucking with bro now? I, she was like, oh, I ain't know that. Me and him ain't bros. It's not my nigga. Mm. So you gonna get fucked. <laughs> and I'm gonna dab him when I see him and let him know, yeah, bro, come on, don't try to do that because niggas will try to do that. But what if me and what a girl was doing was secretive? Don't nobody know, period. And don't nobody Then that's different. Them. I mean, hmm. 
I just don't at my exes. I don't care nothing about them. I just, know about my none of my old yeah, work. I don't care about none of and my. And that's why I say I'm at an age now. Fuck it. I don't know what I mean, fuck it. Because I done found out my baby daddy messed with some people. You know that I was cool with, or you know oh, yeah, used to be waiting. cool with, and whatever. If they look at I mean, you, but I mean it is. And I'm talking even down you. to like uh. one girl even inbox me and ask me could she fuck with my baby daddy, and I'm like, bro, was you cool with her? I yeah, we was cool with each other. So why she inboxing you? Tell she, you that? but why see, at that time we want we want. Then we she, won't cool no more But I mean Not saying we won't cool But we had basically Like you know Went our own ways So why so would she like, have to even she ask you then I guess she felt like She had to ask me And I'm like bro You asking the wrong baby mama And you gonna fuck him anyway So what the fuck you asking you, She was already doing it What did it. you say though I, you, you asking the wrong baby mama That's the end It was story was over She was like What you mean You asking the wrong baby mama you I was. Give a I fuck. wasn't. I'm the first baby mama. He got a whole dub baby mama after me. You asking the wrong baby mama. Give a fuck. Like you asking the wrong baby mama. I don't give a fuck. I look at my my baby that is they the bros. Are there any niggas that's off limits? What you mean? Any niggas you ever fuck with that's off limits? Anybody that I was in a relationship with. You saying as far as like with my friends? No, just anybody you don't like seeing them with nobody. Oh, I don't give a damn. So I ain't nobody that you just deep down loves. That it didn't work out because it was either some shit that happened with you or happened with them, but... As of right now, I wish I would see my ex out with somebody. <laughs> you I'm just saying so, that your ex. Listen, my ex-boyfriend that I just broke up with, funny story yesterday, right? I'm on my way to... Why can't he go fuck something? He can, but I better not see it. Why? Because I'm going to whoop his ass and her too. Like, come on, don't make that so man toxic. We just, we, it has been so five months. So he can't take bitches out? Yeah. Just don't let me see it. You everywhere. And no, I'm not. I'm really not outside. Yesterday, boom, prime example. Yesterday, right? I'm on my way to Mika House. Right down Newtown. I look over, I see the truck at the Wawa, and it looked like somebody was in the passenger seat. Hey, that's right. Do girl, you yeah, don't know? Don't say like Newtown and shit like that because people don't know. Oh, my yeah. bad. But it's all good. But yeah, I was at Wawa, and well, no, I was riding past Wawa, and I seen the truck. It was his truck? Yes. Mm. And I looked. Mm. Trust me, it's that shit sticks you, you out turn. like a thumb. You you turn? What? Turn it over and I'm on the phone with my homegirl. I said, oh, bitch, I see won't won't at Wawa. I'm pulling up and like somebody Come in the car. Susie, she like, bro, do not pull up. I see you got me fucked up. He at this pump, this the this the car, this the pump, this me. I pull right up beside it. Come on, Susie. He in the car. Let me say how stupid he is though. I look, I don't, it's not nobody in the car, but he's in the car like this in his phone. And the window is down. I pull right up and I put my hand to the side of his head. And I'm like, look, see how easy it is to get you. This man jumped so hard. I really felt his soul come out his body. You toxic. And I just looked at him and I was like, oh, yeah. You he toxic, said, Susie. What you doing up here? Da, 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 da. Exactly. No, like, come because on, why are you playing with me? I could have really just took your whole life from so, out of so, here. So answer this question. If, he can't, if you can't see him out with nobody, why don't you just be with him? I don't want to be with him. So let him go. I, I did. You let just him, said you I thought he was him, with a bitch and pulled but up. You got to understand, it's too early. Like Why? I understand, I understand he deal with other people and I deal with other people. When you done with somebody, but just be done with them. It, it's never you too right, soon. but you can't sit back and say within the first couple of months that you and your ex broke up. You, if you seen her out somewhere, you wouldn't feel some type of way. I ain't gonna roll up on her and be like, bitch, why are you with somebody? I didn't say he was gonna roll up on her, but I rolled up on him because I don't give a fuck. That truck is in my name. And, and this is my thing, though. I really wouldn't. I really would be. Uh, listen, and this is all I'm saying. And at the point of my relationship now, at my age and my maturity, when I was younger and I broke up with somebody, at sometimes I didn't mean it. I was just trying to see her reaction and see what was going to happen after that. I used to play those games. So if I, I don't want to be with you no more, I was really just trying to get a reaction. But at this point, if me and my current girl, something happened where I break up with her today, tomorrow, if she want to meet another nigga and move on, I'm okay with that because I'm done with you. Yeah, I mean, I still get what you're saying, but I don't feel like I'm physically I wish you ready. The best. I feel like I'm not physically ready for that, but so just you be know, with him. I, I don't want to be with him. Just it's feeling that. still there. No, if you're feeling of course, some type of, way. of course, it's still feelings there. Like you was with somebody every day for a while, a long time. You was with somebody. You was around his kids. He was around my kids. You, he was around my family. Like so, make it's it a work. Lot of then. Stuff. No, 
That's what counseling is for. I, that's what no, compromise for. But that's what no, growth is and for. And I no, we were really, you know, we were really. He was my best friend before we even got into a relationship. So it's kind of hard. Up. That's where you fucked right? up. Right. So it's kind of hard to separate, you know, our friendship from the relationship because we actually got into a relationship. You should now. So it's like he's still my friend. Like I still love him to death. Like if he was to call me right now and told me some shit was going on, I'm pulling up. So just be together. No. Uh, we can't be together. We hey, my nigga, whoever, the next nigga that's not the ex nigga, you got to go through this shit. <laughs> I'm telling them, I tell a girl, you might as well be with him. That's why if I said. If you ain't over him, you might as no, well be with him even, I'm trying no, to move it's, on. That's why I told you in the beginning, like, I'm grinding right now. I can't okay. jump into a relationship with somebody else or be with somebody else when I still have that little antsy feeling for my ex because mm. I can't give you my all because I'm still semi kind of worried about but what you ain't gonna let him be on. happy though Slim. I am gonna nah, let him be happy it's five months Susan, I'm telling and you, you just right thought now. he was with somebody and, and he was coming but up but that's on only him. because me and him still be fucking yup I mean do you want me to give you some real shit on that or not some real shit on what but it's we don't be I mean do like you that. want listen listen, like listen. Stop playing. Either be with them or not be with them. You right. Period. You're and if right. you ain't gonna be with them, don't be fucking them. You Cause right. this the thing, y'all playing with niggas. Ain't nobody playing though. But see, but this is what I'm saying. Y'all are play with a nigga feelings, saying I don't want to be with you, don't want to be with you, but you'll fuck me. So now I'm thinking you do want to be with me, and then when I see you out with another nigga, I'm feeling some type of way and want to fight them because I'm thinking. This my girl. We love each other. She's saying she don't want to be, but she fucking me, and we fucking no. raw. So, stop playing those games. That's all it's I'm saying. If you don't want to be with them, don't be with them. <laughs> Cause you just said you can go without sex. It ain't that important to you. It's get not. a get a toy, then get it's a toy. Not. It's really not. Or just be with them then and make it work. But if you're not gonna make it work, and see, this is my only thing too. If y'all want a nigga to get right, stop fucking them. You right. And if he don't want to lose you, he'll grow. It ain't grow. like we humping. We don't hump all the time. It, don't it ain't even nothing like that. Some niggas don't but, need to fuck all the time. They just need to know I can fuck her when I want to fuck her. And, but you can't. And that's the that's the thing. Like you can't. Yeah, well, You'll do it when I want to do yeah, it. See, it don't matter. I still can fuck. That's that that's how a nigga feel. I guess. Well, listen, I ain't playing them games. If I ain't with you no more, I ain't fucking you no more. That's fine. Cause I don't need my brain to be Cause when I'm in that pussy, it's somebody I That's love, I'm I loving said, it. That's why I said I'm chilling right now. I'm in grandma. Mode. I ain't got time to be worried about no niggas, no none of that. I'm trying to get me together. Okay. Well, when That's them niggas see this, Sean, hey Sean, Sean, yeah, Sean, no. Come on, Susan. Why? Cause they gotta see it. Hey. She didn't have when I first met her. She didn't have all of this, but she. I we would talk no about ass. BBLs, but we've been it's going for flat. a long time. It's real flat, y'all. She got a BBL, y'all. No, I didn't, y'all. Come on, Susie Lou. I just eat know. cornbread Come on, these and call it green. Well, you're right. I can, I can take what I said out. The My world want to see it, dog. They don't want to see you up here without you showing no ass. Because I got the other one, and you grab, you grab like the cheat. Yeah, right there. Boom. Yeah. Ooh, that thing's off. <laughs> That thing's soft. Because I've seen people talk shit about you. They said your shit was hard online. I said my shit was hard. They definitely said it. That just proved it wasn't hard, y'all. They even said I was botched. Your shit was fucked up? No. No, it don't look fucked up. It but some of them motherfuckers be wearing, like, body suits and shit, so it kind of shaped mm -hmm. you, and then they come about that shit, and this shit it's everywhere. Early, yeah. No. Her shit ain't botched, and I, it's I soft. I feel like I'm well proportioned. You see how you say that, Jank? Jiggle. You should put that in the beginning so when they when um oh when they end definitely end, so. gonna see that shit. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely gonna see that shit when you and like it, i said i got the old one so i could just when take you do it the you little, when it. you do the little snippet yeah but see last time i had on jean shorts so it but didn't move like, like no nah, you grabbed it oh i did yeah, yeah i just did it again no nah, but you just did one cheek don't no know. i didn't i had both on no i'm i'm not getting up fucking re i'm talking about right now oh right there yeah yeah no i seen that i was looking at the camera oh I couldn't look look at you because if my girl see me look look at you. But she, listen, I, I almost got bad up in the strip club though. Listen what? for my <laughs> for my birthday, we in the strip club. So well, y'all y'all went to Houston right yeah, for your so birthday. You already oh my know. God, I'm ready to go so back. We I was love on, Houston. I love, listen, listen. I'm mad that I moved to DC before I went to Houston a couple times because Sean was working out there. So I went out there and like 
that's where I want to be. I'm going to buy a house out there. But anyway. Yeah, it's really nice out there. We was in the strip club. I called myself putting her and my close friends while I'm in there. I called myself doing it. So she can understand. I ain't trying to hide. Now you can see I'm in the strip club. So listen, <laughs> my God, I was, I was getting, they brought two joints over there. They paid for them. And they was, and you know, but I'm particular with certain joints in the strip club. So I'm recording. And my guy's asking me, which one did I want it? I'm like, yo, that bitch over there. That's the one I want. Yo, and I was still recording. And then I posted it. Cause I ain't even realized what you said. Yeah. And she heard that shit. Ooh. Man. <laughs> that was Oh, funny. so that's the bitch you wanted. That's her exact word. Like, <laughs> yo, you out there cheating on me? I'm like, what? I'm in a fucking strip club. So that's the bitch Ain't you no wanted. Fucking but in no, the strip that's club. what they do though. They had the girls come up because when we went out there. They had the girls come up to our section, and they told us to pick which girls we wanted. And, the, and this is what I'm saying. When we was out there, we was just being nice because girls was just coming over there because we was throwing money. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, nah, I don't, really, I don't want to be mean to them. Mm -hmm. But I was telling my bed, I want that bitch right there. I literally was pointing like, no, because she was like on the stage. But yeah, the, so the like, strip clubs is where is that out there? Because that's those out there, it's the after hour spot. Like when you leave the we club, you go to the strip like club. five in the morning. And I ain't going to lie to you, we had to leave. I fell asleep in the corner. What strip club y'all go to? Don't get me the line. I don't know the name of it. Oh. We was in there like 450. They weren't selling liquor at the time or nothing. And I got funny because at the time they stopped serving liquor and they was like, yeah, y'all passed the time. We, was, we got in there like four, maybe three, three something. Maybe it was like three something. Yeah, because you go in there, when you leave the club, that's where everybody go at, to the because, strip club. No, nah, we won at Atomic that night. I don't know. Might have been camp that night and we left Where did y'all, what club y'all go to? We went to Atomic out there, camp out there. Yeah, we, go, what is it? Is it the office? Nah, it's out we there. What's that? that? That's all. It's, I, isn't it the office? I ain't never been to the office. That shit. I think that's the name of it, but that shit was Camp lit. be jumping. Atomic was all right. Uh, I, I'm telling you, I like, uh, what's the one shit we always go? Because I tell I just like the vibe in there. Fuck. Don't get me the line. But anyway, I love Houston. They got some good food out there. I want to go back so bad. Everything I had was delicious. I just love Houston. It's just so much to do, something you can do. We was in Seaside during the day party. See, and Seaside's oh, yeah, so small, see, we went, but Seaside Yeah, we went out there too, though. though. We, was, we went there for brunch. When next time y'all going? I don't know. I'm coming. Let me that know. shit is I'm like coming. that. I love. And my first year, my girl went with me for my birthday. That's why I think she was kind of feeling some type of way because I left her home this year. This is my mm -hmm. thing. If I'm the only one with my girl on the trip, I don't want my guys to feel uncomfortable. Right, They right. can't talk a certain way. They can't act a certain way. So, so I if they're not bringing their girls, there's no purpose. I ain't bringing mine. Yeah. You know, even though I tell her everywhere I go, anywhere I go, you're welcome. Like, I don't, I don't need to invite you, nigga. If I'm there, I'm there. But anyway, man, we've been talking for a minute. I really want to make Susie Lou my co-host, but I don't stand the 757. So. Hmm. But you're going to see me and her on here again. Uh, where can they follow you at on your social medias? Um, Susie underscore Lou. That's S U Z I E underscore L U E. What's your cake pages? Tasty Lou Cakes. You ain't got a website yet either. S T Y L U E C A K E S. I'm going to put it on. It's going to be at the bottom. We it's talked about that. You ain't got a website yet. Not. You know, it's, we did. it's crazy because I paid the girl to do my website like three years ago. And she never completed it. I'm going to get on her. She never completed it. We going to do some business in the future. Trust me. Henny and Fried Crabs and Susie Lou going to be working. I see y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe, like, comment, say something. Don't say nothing. Share it. Motherfucker shit. Right, listen, something. they going to share it on Facebook because motherfuckers hate her. So something. they just going to want to see what she want to say. I'm blocked for five days. For real. I, on Facebook. I told you that's why I didn't literally initially drop it the first time. I was blocked for fucking 14 days. And then as soon as I came back, I said some. But listen, we was on a track group and we was talking about a race. And I'm like, man, my boy, my nephew will burn y'all. And they fucking, they fucking put me in jail for saying they'll burn y'all. Yeah. I'm like, I'm in the track group talking about running. I fucking crazy. hate Facebook, man. Facebook so sensitive. Facebook okay. and Instagram is so sensitive. But I think it's a bot. I don't. I don't really think it's people saying it. I just think they got keywords that. But they, even you when you it. put, but even when you put it into like a disputed, they still be like, no, we agree really with it. It's nobody disputing. It. I wonder. I wonder if they got a number I can call. No. <laughs> no. We gonna peace out. Bye.